Welcome to the Bronx Latino History Project. My name is Stephen Payne, Librarian and Archivist at the Bronx County Historical Society. Today is December 14, 2021, and I'm happy to be here with Karina Mondesir, an artist and musician whose grandmother just so happens to be Elba Cabrera. Usually we start by asking about family history and background, but due to an audio issue that affected the first couple of minutes of the recording, Karina will start the oral history by talking about the Bronx and the ways that family and others have shaped her view of the borough. Go ahead, Karina. I don't know. I just, I love it. And, you know, it's also, you know, sometimes people want to talk a little bit about the Bronx in negative ways. And I'm like, nah. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. Like, I was like, I love it. No, like, you know, because also I think it's one of those things that I think sometimes it comes into misinformation. Oh, a lot of um, misinformation, yeah. You know, briefly to mention, one of the things that really... Um, not really changed my perspective because I already had love for the Bronx, but I think reinforced it was seeing Decade of Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I learned a lot. You know, I sure. think that there's a lot in that documentary that is just important for people to know because it's yeah. not something that often, I, I know that they're trying to bring it into the classroom, but it's not something that I learned in the classroom at all. No, not you at know? all. You know, and so... When I got to, you know, I, I, I heard about the fires, of course, but to really see an in-depth, um, you know, again, documentary, like study essentially of what was happening, yeah. um, it changed how I felt, you know, especially when it came to the pride for the Bronx, because a lot of the, the negative information that you heard, this is where it started. Absolutely. You know, and so... I, you know, I went from like, I was really shocked, you know, yeah. and like, I, in fact, in my mind, like, I gotta watch it again so I can just really take it, take it all in. But it was really just one of those things. I was like, okay, there's a reason that the Bronx has a name like, you know, or has this, you know, negative thing to it. Well, one, I always say like, no matter where you go, there's yeah. going to be, you know, a positive and a negative. Sure. Um, but I really, after seeing it, I was like, hold on a second. The Bronx is... I think the Bronx is amazingly strong. Absolutely. You know, I, uh, you know, and, and to also, you know, I, a lot of pride because of the work that Evelina did, my grandmother, and, you know, and just the sisters in general, Lillian as well. Sure. You know, I'm, I'm already pretty passionate, you know, and I, I, I always think of, um, I'm probably going to misquote it, but you know, the, the, the quote where Evelina says that we're not leaving the Bronx. Absolutely. It's yeah, a, yeah, you yeah. know, it's. I'm not, I'm not gonna quote because I know I'm gonna mess it up. It is somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah, exactly yeah. the one. Yeah. You know. Um. But I. I don't know. I just think that all of that was reinforced for me. Absolutely. Um. Like it was already there, but I think that it was a great learning experience to see. You know, especially what happened. The community, the way sure. that the community was able to come together as well in like really intense times. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 26 now, so I was not, I was not around. I was born in 95, so I, I yeah. wasn't here for those things, but my family has definitely, um, I guess made sure that I was aware yeah. and like, you know, to, to, to have that pride, you know, sure. of being from the Bronx of, of, of well, one being from family, a strong woman. I, I, you know, it's a little bit of pressure, <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. like a little I'm bit sure. of pressure. <laughs> so, but I, I, you know, I try to take, you know, just, you know, I guess like this is where that, I guess a little bit cliche, but turn, you know, what is when they turning, what is it, into diamonds, you know, the pressure turns things into diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I try to think about it like that and just, you know, I was, I'm blessed. I, I'll just say that I'm, you know, I'm think that and on both sides of my family I think that I have like very strong women so I'm blessed in that way. Sure. Um and it really does give me that like all right <laughs> like you you got this like yeah, yeah um yeah. so I uh, I feel like I'm losing a little track. I don't want to lose track. Um but I well I guess back to the Bronx outside of the you know I just but again that that pride and love for the Bronx. And I think that like, if anything, you know, sometimes I, I'm a little bit more passionate because of the fact that sometimes people are like, ew, the Bronx. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. what do you mean ill the Bronx? Also, this is where hip hop was born. Yeah. So I'm like, no, nah, you can't talk about it like I know. that. And salsa and- Yeah, all these, like, it's, a, you know, 
again, in, in general, I think New York itself is just a, you know, a beautiful kind of, again, melting pot, mixing pot, whatever. And so I, I love to see the different cultures, but it's true. It's all these, you know, especially today when it comes to, you know, I guess like the music aspect, it yeah. is, a, it's like the home or the, you know, again, the birthplace, Absolutely. you know? And so I have lots of love for it, especially because of that. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I'm again, lucky enough that I am born into a family that could teach me or show me these things. Sure. And like, you know, cause a lot of this happened before I was born or I was too young to, you know, comprehend any of it. Like, so it's one of those, well, no, probably before I was born. So I was doing the math, I'm like, like <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. I just, I've always, I've always felt the love out here. You know, even when I, when I moved out here, something that I love about living in this area is just, you know, a lot of people been here for years. I know. Yeah. You I know, know, I, I remember them as a little kid. I would, you know, I would come over for, to Tata's on the weekend and like, yeah. you know, the, this is a lot of the neighbors, you know, are still here. If they, some of them have passed on, but like, sure. you know, example, Shirley, I love Shirley. That's family. I've known her since I was a kid. I yeah. think she, I believe that they, my family moved here in 69. Yeah. Um, I think Shirley may have like in the seventies. So it's like, these are, <laughs> they've been here. Yeah. And so it's actually, you know, they, talking about community, one of the things that I thought was really nice. Now this happened a couple of years. Well, it's kind of a two, not two part story, but just two part um, point. My dad had come down. And this is, you know, some years ago they were doing um, pre COVID. Uh, so yeah. I, I know that it was. It might have been a couple of years even before that. Um, but they had, you know, they like to do a lot of. Um, I guess like community events here. Sure. So they'll do, you know, like a movie or a concert or yeah. something like that. And, and so, space where they come yeah. That, so right? all that green area is, or the green way is just like, it's, it's really lovely when, you know, again, um, we'll see with what it is right now with the pandemic and all of that. But yeah. prior to that, you know, they'd have these big events for the people here. Yeah. Um, and I got to go with my dad one time who hadn't been, you know, for a long time, like he's come up, but like, you know, to be in that environment, he got to see, all of the people that he grew up with yeah you know and he was like walking around he's like wow he calls me kid so he was like wow kid you know <laughs> it's like i i it's, it's really crazy to see my friends and the people you know how we've grown and so i thought it was beautiful too because i was sitting there like wow like everybody knows each other you know yeah, they see like yeah, paul yeah. or you know or whoever he saw and it was it's just one of those like it's beautiful to see the community that happens because I think especially sometimes we go around not even knowing our neighbors. Yeah. You know, yeah, we yeah, live yeah. in these buildings and it's just, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, good morning, that's it, put my headphones in, keep going, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. And so I, I think that the community out here is really something um, beautiful, especially when they can come together, um, whether it be for like a nice day on the, you know, on the greenway or for yeah, I guess social justice causes or, or more sure. than that. It's, I just think that it's, there's a lot of strength out here, yeah. you know? And so I, I am passionate about the box, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the other thing was also, you know, when I said that, that two part was my dad, um, you know, for Thanksgiving, they, they came out here. And so he decided to go for like a walk, you know, it was just, he can't sit still. So yeah. he's like, I gotta go for a walk. And so he walked around and he just was, when he came back, he said, he's like, you know, it's really crazy to be here, you know, and to just walk around and see co-op for what it is, or, you know, in, in all this time that, you know, and so I, I just, I, 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 in a way I'm like, maybe interview him, but like, you know, oh, like yeah, he, I will, for sure. he, you know, I, I enjoyed listening to him, you know, especially more so it was like in his, on his face and like, I, and also I know my dad, so I could just like see uh, like how he was like, wow, like, you know, and like, ref, you know, reflecting on, you know, I, I guess, you know, how it's changed, how it hasn't, all, you know, whatever. It's just, I, it was, it's something that I, I, I appreciate to be able to share, even if I can't fully comprehend everything, you Absolutely. know, or, you know, I just, I, I see the love, I see the, I guess the passion, you know, so yeah. I, I feel like the Bronx is definitely my home. Um, you know, I, I, again, I've been here, so I guess that's, my, oh gosh, my math skills are about to be put to the test. Well, 2013, so I'm guessing that's like, what, eight years? Yeah, almost nine. Almost. Eight going on nine, maybe? Something yeah. Like yeah. I, because I, 
Yeah, 20, let's see, let's see, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, wow, 19, 20, 21, yeah, so wow. it's, wow. Yeah, because I, I moved in, I want to say, like, June of 2013. And you, you moved into... Yeah, to... to stuff. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. So, um, wow, that's... I feel... It feels like yesterday, and also not like yesterday, I guess. Yeah. So I kind of am having this moment of, like, wow, I am really not a kid. <laughs> 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 it's like, I'm technically... Is it even mid twenties when you're twenty six? Like it, it's really not anymore. It's like, like, Don't think too much. I'm about like, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I realize I can't round down anymore. I yeah, just yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna just stay right at that number. Like, <laughs> but but yeah. So um, I, I love the Bronx. I'm losing track. But. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. So um, going back to your your family's uh, history a little bit, the. Two sides of your family. Which parts of the Bronx did they live in while you were um, growing up? Okay. Um, let's see. So, actually, a lot of my family... Um, so, my mom's side, I know... Well, obviously, my, my, my I'm going to say my dad's side is here. Sure. You know, this is, the, city, this yeah. is the, the... In fact, my, my room now is my dad's old room. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. is like this is, you know... Um, so, the Co-op City has really been... I guess the center yeah. for my family. I know that they did live at some point, I think around Gun Hill. I think they lived in Gun Hill Projects. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I don't recall if, you know, where else they lived. Because again, for me, I'm like, this is, this sure. is where it always has Absolutely. been. Um, my mom's side, I, you know, I'm actually, that's something that I'm interested in learning more about. I know when I was growing up, my grandmother, um, Mamita, used to live around Vice Avenue. Oh, okay, okay, um, sure. Or on Vice Avenue. Um, and now most of my family lives um, in, like, I guess the West Farms area. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, for me, has, that's from, that's where, like, my whole life they have essentially been. Okay, Again, sure. they, like, actually... Yeah, a couple of my family lived around Vice. You know, they tend to, to kind of stick together. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it's like, you know, the family usually would live, you know, if not in the same building, you know, a couple, you know, very close together. Sure. Um, but again, as of recently, I know, you know, for the most part, the West Farms area, I believe the Soundview area, um, and I think that is, that's where I can, at least as much as, as like, I, I'm more like confident and sane yeah i know yeah, that yeah. sometimes people have moved around but I, the areas again i spent my time in was between co-op west farms vice um and yeah i that's also as a kid you don't really know where you are for sure, for <laughs> you know? sure. you're just like okay i'm here I'm you know yeah that's about exactly I, well i did go to actually um i used to go to summer camp at the castle hill y oh okay so okay, i sure. did spend a lot of time over there yeah actually i miss that like, so i see little things that like you remember when you're a kid I'm like oh I, I spent a lot of time at the castle hill y so i guess in the castle hill area um but yeah, that's, that's again. Essentially, that's where my family has uh, lived or settled for the, you know, for yeah. their life. Mm -hmm. And in Manhattan, you always lived. Uh, yeah, one hundred twenty fifth Street. Yep, right by Riverside Church. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I see. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I again between the both of them, I have love for both. And yeah. but yes, yes. And mm -hmm. you said you you went all through uh, elementary, junior, high school in Manhattan. Yeah, um, and, 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 and including in high school. Um, I went to college. Um, I, did, uh, I didn't finish it, but I did um, some time at Osos Community College. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, um, and um, yeah, again, my, my school life was down there. Yeah. Um, I did live in Riverdale. That was when I was saying that I, you know, I lived between both. Oh, okay, um, so I lived I in Riverdale. I know sometimes they want to act like they're not the Bronx. They, they were but, at Riverdale on there. But on yeah, on the, that's <laughs> I'm like yes, I'm like the Bronx. You the mean the Bronx? Office, like the Riverdale, <laughs> the Bronx. Yeah. Like yeah. especially because it's like it's a short bus ride, maybe five minutes yeah. from what they the the Bronx. So what they want to call the Bronx, yeah, they're not the Bronx. It, it's the Bronx. It's just I guess it's a fancier version yeah. of the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Class, this is the Bronx. I remember I, my dad made sure if we ever, like, you know, mail wise, yeah. Bronx, New York. <laughs> so, and I made sure to do the same. I was like, Bronx, New York. I mean, now with, you know, with emails, I don't really have to sign the Bronx. Yeah, but, you sure, know, sure. I would make sure it's like, no, 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 Bronx. <laughs> um, so. Absolutely. And uh, so 
which elementary school did you go to? PS75. Um, it's on 96th and West End. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what was your time there like? That's actually, I had a pretty good experience um, at that school. My parents were really, um, uh, I guess, I, maybe diligent or just really to, to make sure essentially that I went to a good school. And yeah. I have to say that um, it really was. I went to, I was in a dual language program. Okay. Um, and so I kind of wish that more school, not even kind of wish, I wish that more Me schools too. had it. Um, because the, the program I was in was a, it was like one day you spoke Spanish, the other day you spoke English. Wow. We had textbooks in English and in Spanish. Anything. And like it was, I, I wish, cause now like I still know Spanish, but without the practice, it, yeah. it's like, it makes it a little harder. And also there's also the confidence issue, which is really where it's at. Cause then it's sure, like, sure. I know, and I'm like, Hola. And I just like, I, I, I can speak it, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I, so I do wish that more schools had programs like that. Um, I, something that my dad will also say is that the principal at the time, um, Mr. O'Brien, um, was a great principal, yeah. you know, um, and for the most part, I had some pretty amazing teachers. In fact, like, yeah, I, I can, when I look back on my, you know, I guess my is it a scholastic life or, <laughs> or like you know or my school life? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I can definitely think of you know. I remember my second and third grade teacher, Miss Baldwin, is definitely somebody who stood who stood out to me. Yeah. Um, and so I I did have a good education. Yeah. Um, I also had a I went to Mott Hall too. Um, that's also again in Manhattan. Um, one hundred eighth and uh between Broadway and Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is also my. I, you know what, elementary and middle school, I think I really had some really good um, teachers. So I was, I was in a, yeah, it was. I, I look back on on those schools fondly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because yeah. it's, you know, especially in terms of you know being able to find good teachers, and then also it was, I was in public school. Sure, sure. You know, and so these were some amazing public schools that I was able to attend. Yeah. Um, and so I, I just. Shout out to my parents. You know, they, they really made sure, they wanted to make sure that I had a good education. And um, I I think that is, you know, I, a lot of the stuff that I learned in my early years, you know, yeah. is still in here. Yeah. You know, and I even remember um, my best friend, she's still my best friend um, now. We went to Mott Hall 2 together. And we talk about, it was like, you know, a lot of the stuff we learned there, you know, has helped us out, you know, when we went to high school and, yeah. and college, it was like, hey, I remember I learned this early. So it was kind of cool because it was like, cool. we were like, yeah. we were already a little bit ahead because we were like, where we study this? Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, so the, those were the, you know, I, my education was down there. Yeah. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And what about your high school? Um, I have a little list probably on my high schools. I went to two, um, but my, I will say that my second high school, which was City, um, City as High School or CAS, mm -hmm. um, I really, it, it's a good school. It's one of those alternative high schools sure. where you can, you know, get your, your credits faster. Yeah. Um, and I think that I do wish that, you know, looking back as a you know kid that I had more of a focus that I do now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, but there's a bunch of things going on in your teen life. Sure. Uh, and and growing through. But I I did enjoy the fact that they gave you it was a you had like, you were either in school for a couple of days or doing an internship for a couple of days. Oh, okay. So it was one of those things where I was, I really appreciated the experience to be, especially looking back to be yeah. able to like, I still have some of that on my resume or I'll bring up some of the skills I learned from yeah. those internships that I was able to take. Oh, cool. Um, and I will also say that the teachers there genuinely care for the most part, most of the teachers, you sure, know, sure. <laughs> genuinely care about their students and like, helping their students out. I think if anything that school taught me just how much like like really independent you have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz there it was like if you weren't in if you were not on it like you 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 know, you're not going to not that you weren't going to graduate, but it really was up to you. Your teachers can can be there for you and be like, "Hey, you know, let's let's get this, this and this." But sure. it was really up to you and so that was a a good experience of like independence. Yeah. You know, yeah. um and so I I, you know, I really, I have a lot of respect for that school and what they do. And again, the teachers, I, I'm not sure how many teachers, um, are still there that I was there with. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I shout out to them. And also again, my middle school, just for a little shout out, she had, pa she passed away, but Miss De Los Santos or Anna mm -hmm. De Los Santos, um, was the, when I had started, she was the 
vice principal and then she ended up becoming principal. Okay, yeah. But she was an amazing, amazing, like, I guess, educator who really cared for their students. And in fact, um, she, <laughs> it was, I think, you know, sometimes there's that tough love. Yeah. And she definitely, I remember, you know, one of the memories that sticks out to me, and I was going through a lot, and she just, like, she sat me in her office and was very real. Yeah. In a way that it, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I tried to model myself in ways after her without realizing, you know, just sure. based on, like, it was, like, an understanding, but, like, no BS kind of, like, conversation. Yeah. And she cared for every single one of her students. So I just, I, I will say, in terms of education, I, you know, I really did have some, some great teachers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that I was able to, uh, to, to, I guess, be exposed to, because not, not everybody will have the, you know, I guess, always has the positive, sure. <laughs> you know, aspect of education, but I, I definitely feel like I was able to, to I, I was exposed to, to, to I, some good people, I'll say. Yeah. yeah. Some really good people, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I know one of the things you, you mentioned, and that you mentioned a, a couple times already, is how passionate you are about music. Is that something that either one of your or both of your parents passed on to you or um, what do you remember about music growing up in your household well they love music yeah i'll yeah. say that yeah. um my um well i think a, I, when i was a kid i was a i was a musical theater nerd okay, you know? okay so sure. i i um always just i that's what i kind of clung to was um, oh man, I well, it's funny looking back. There are some musicals that, like, as an, as an adult, I was like, should you have been listening to that? <laughs> but like, because <laughs> one of my favorites, and like, I should not admit this, but it, it's because it's one of those musicals that's known for being like good, bad, okay, uh, which yeah, was sure. Grease Two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's funny, it's yeah. like it's pretty bad, but it's like good. It's like so good. it's yeah. like yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm. It's one. It's definitely one that I look fond. You know, I'm just. I, me and my cousins will sing it. Like <laughs> I also, luckily, I had other. You know, my other cousin was super into musical theater. Yeah. Um. But my parents both love music. Um. Not that they necessarily like, you know, do anything musically wise, but sure. they both. You know, I was always exposed to different music. My dad made sure to. Well, I. You know, he. He was selective about what hip hop that I listened to. Okay. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. So and um. So I, you know, there are some that I, I had to learn about later on because yeah. he was like, no, like, <laughs> not for you. Um, but he definitely, I remember he, when we would, you know, if people even know what tapes are anymore, <laughs> little, <laughs> we would like, you know, we'd be in the car and he'd play his, um, like a little, I guess, mixtape or just all his favorite, like, you know, songs and music and sure. we would listen to it in the car. So I was able to be exposed to music, um, especially hip hop, you know, yeah. especially through my dad. Um, and my mom, she, not as much hip hop, but definitely a lot of Spanish music or yeah. even, even if it wasn't Spanish music, she loves Madonna. Okay. She, okay. She, yeah. She yeah. loves, uh, you know, Cindy Lauper, uh, the police, all, you know, all different kinds of music. So I, I will say I had a pretty well-rounded like music, I, or at least I feel like I was able to listen to a little bit of everything. Sure. Yeah. And so I think that's where it started. I think also... Or at least one of the things that I really think about in terms of like my love for music was it was a good outlet. Um, my grandmother, Mamita, um, yeah, my mother's, well, my mother's mother. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She was always singing. Oh. You know, and okay, so okay, sure. you know, it was all these. You know, she's she, from Puerto Rico. She, I don't. She never really learned English. You yeah. know, she she uh, she understood, but you know, she was not speaking Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and she was always singing. You know, when I would go over to visit, she she'd get out like the instruments. Actually, you know, the same here. We have like maracas in the background, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you know, they always. I remember as a kid, I would always play, and so um, you know, when I would vi visit Mamita, she would pick this up and sing yeah. you know it could be songs that you know maybe she listened to growing up or honestly I think she just made stuff up <laughs> like you know she would she would sometimes rhyme stuff for the for the for you know and like I remember she would sing like Karina Karina llévame la cocina you know she'd do that <laughs> like, I oh, come it was like Farida, Karina, you know she'd do that. So it was like I was always <laughs> surrounded by. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I yeah. always just I've I've loved music, and um, as the years went on, I ended up getting a little bit more into like I think I would because I was such a 
um, musical theater nerd. I, you know, it took me a little bit to get into hip hop, yeah. but I eventually did, and that's something that I really have enjoyed doing. Um, is is writing, you know, I guess songs. So I'm getting into that. So yeah. So uh, so so you write some of your own uh, uh, own rap then, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so I mean, I had started, like I said, I've always as a kid, I was always singing, and um, I had started writing. I mean. I'm not sure I could say they were good, but you know, when I was a you know, kid, I would always write some like music. And then in high school, I ended up doing like an after school program okay, yeah. um, that uh, was focused on music. Yeah. Um, and I, it was the first time I had ever dared rap, you yeah. know, or, or tried to, I will say try. At the time, my confidence was not there. Again, I'm a, I feel like, you know, looking back, I'm a different person than I was at that time. And sure. so I was very insecure and so I was so nervous now I was able to write I'm not going to talk about performance but like you know like it, it allowed me to you know I guess pick up a, a pen in a different way rather yeah. than you know like I'm gonna sing a little song and yeah, a little yeah, thing, yeah. where it was like ooh, like okay like I can do a little I, I guess experimenting with the you know I guess rhyming and things sure. like that now I cannot freestyle for the life of me I sound like Dr. Seuss, like, <laughs> but not in a good way, you know, so it's, it's something that I, I you know, I, I enjoy writing and, um, I, you know, also like, you know, it's cool to, to be able to also be related to Joe Kondo. Yeah, here, you absolutely. Know, it's absolutely. born in the Bronx, you know, and so I, um, it's, it's, you know, hip hop has always been, you know, in my life. I just, yeah. it wasn't until I, I guess, picked up and started to like, let me just keep writing little rhymes and this and that. And yeah. so um, I am hopefully in the next like six months to a year going to actually be trying to release actual music oh, or like awesome. actually partnering with people. You know, I've luckily too that, you know, I being out here in yeah. the Bronx, you know, um, I've been able to make connections with some other like amazing artists out here. Sure. Um, and so it's, it's exciting and it, you know, and it's new, but it's, it's, or, or new to me, or at least in a way where like I'm not in my room just writing, because that yeah. has been something that I've always done. It's sort of been like a, I guess like a personal outlet, or just some some way for me to either get feelings or just have some fun. And so, um, it's it's cool to be able to to step outside of my room to actually see how these things work. You know, like in terms of the studio and also collaborating with other people. In fact, that's kind of been my favorite part is like, you know, the talent that is out here. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. especially unknown talent. Oh, I like, know. So it's much. So much. And you know, this is, again, this is basically the heart of hip hop. You yeah. know, again, it's, it's the beautiful part of it. I think about, you know, hip hop is that it's everywhere now. Yeah. You know, um, but it's nice to be here. <laughs> um, and, Again, I, I'm there's all this undiscovered talent out here. Um, hopefully, I'll be one of them. You know, like, I hope so too. but yeah. it's it's it is even so. It's just it's just it's something I enjoy. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, and it's fun, and it allows me to, I guess, like, you know, I guess break break it out of my norm a little bit. I sure. guess doing music, or you know, and especially doing hip hop music. It's like it's not that it isn't my norm, but like you know, it's. It's fun. You know, yeah. I don't usually walk around rap lyrics all the time, you know? <laughs> like, so it is fun to, to be able to, and I, I like to, 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 you know, stuff I write usually, I mean, I'll do all kinds of stuff, you know, but sometimes I like to throw a little humor into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, and so that's something that I'm always like, okay, like, you know, I'm, my friends, I, I'm known for saying ridiculous things sometimes, but if you say it, in the right way, it's, it can come off real cool. Like that's something I learned. I was like, it's really, it's like, it's really more how how you say it. Yeah. And like, and again, like I something I do uh, really try to do is like actually make sure I'm not just like throwing out anything because arguably sure. you could just rhyme anything and yeah. then have a hot beat and you got it. Yeah, yeah. But I really try to challenge myself, even when I'm singing something or, or saying, "See me rapping something that's a little bit ridiculous." I'm like. Yeah. Did you, you saw the thought in there? Did yeah. you hear the thought? Like, you know, <laughs> like I made sure it was like, that was a, a clever rhyme scheme in there. And also, like I said, I am, I said a musical theater nerd, but I'm also just a nerd. Shout out to my dad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Firefly, all that stuff. All like that, yeah, I yeah. am, I am deep. Like, <laughs> you know, so I even tried to incorporate some of like that, 
nerdy aspect of me into the music. Oh yeah, that's um, wonderful. You know, because I I think one I is when I when I do music, I want to make sure that I'm putting me into that. Yeah. You know, and so I'll you know a little like. I might throw a little Lord of the Rings reference in there. There might be a little Han Solo reference. You know, like it's just if if it, if it sounds if it works, it works. Yeah, you know, yeah, like so. I I you know it's I I have fun and again to be at the heart of hip hop is also just something that I'm like okay like you know yeah. I I I don't know that's where a lot of that passion and pride comes from. Absolutely, you know? and I, and I think there's always been a very natural connection between hip hop culture and and nerd culture. I mean, yeah, you know, a lot of the early earliest like breakout MCs I mean mm -hmm. you know they rap about all kinds of things yeah all kinds of also, things also you gotta some, honestly you gotta be kind of smart yeah <laughs> absolutely you yeah, know yeah. not even kind of smart I think that there are a lot of like um, lyricists or artists out there when you actually like you know take a moment like outside of the hot beats and how hype you get it's yeah. like wait they just that was really clever yeah yeah you know yeah. so I it's something that I'm I think that like you know, hopefully nobody yells at me for this, but I think that most hip hop or even certain artists will have some kind of nerd aspect to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm impressed by a, you know, when when you can rhyme, especially these big words, and and make it fit. I am impressed. Listen, I try. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I especially you know, if, they, if you can rap really fast and say a whole bunch of stuff, like I'm always impressed by like you know Busta Rhymes, Eminem, all that. Like I'm yeah. like, damn, I can't even speak that fast. But you know, like. You, you have to have a certain, I guess, you know, level of nerdiness, <laughs> I yeah. want to say that, to, to, to do that. Oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, I, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, uh, have, have you done any, like, live performances, or are you mostly working on the studio? Um, um, so, for the first time... Um, I, over the summertime, one of my friends, she actually, uh, she's also very talented and just in general, a really great person. Her name is Kay and she puts together these events. Um, she calls them creative vibe where mm. she, um, brings together. It, it's really great cause it's all kinds of like, she, all kinds of artists. Um, yeah. and, um, well over the summer she had done like, it was a very, it was one of her casual events, but she had done like a beach party. Okay, yeah. Um, and what, you know, while she was there though, she, she allowed for, you know, people to come up and share, you know, whether it's music or poetry or whatever it was, you know? Yeah. And so I was able to, for the first time since high school, get up there and, you know, perform. And yeah. so I, I have an opportunity to do another one of her events in a more, um, rather than a, uh, I guess a more, serious setting um but she does like i know that one of her events coming up is like i think it's poets and um was it music or artists mm -hmm. artists and poets so she again essentially i'm maybe not describing this the best but what she'll do is she'll you know i've anything that you do you know i i she'll have if you if you cook you know so sometimes have like vendors around if you do yeah. like i remember i went and so there are some sorry there's some people who like you know they'll they, they have their own like cooking businesses or they make drinks or yeah. you know they'll come and do this and so it's it's really awesome and again it doesn't have to be you know strictly rap like I sure. went and you know some people were you know got their guitars out and like it's a little more alternative and stuff like that um so it's just it's a really great place to it's in it's enjoyable as just a, like you know as a bystander yeah, you know to, yeah. to go in like just experience the different music and again talent that is in you know what not only the Bronx but this city yeah um is it's it's really awesome so I I have an opportunity to to do a little something again at her so shout out to Kay I'm trying to little by little you know start getting back onto the stage because again sure. hadn't done that since high school so a lot of it is you know in my room or yeah. like some of my friends got those closet studios. Yeah, Although I, yeah, yeah. I, you know, now I'm I'm branching out, and um, I know some you know people who actually work in studios. So I'm really trying to to get a little bit of experience in everything. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. I want to make sure that like well, one just in general, I love it, and so I want to, I guess, perfect my you know or focus on my what you know my my dad says work on what you're passionate about. Sure, sure. And so I'm just trying to to keep doing it because I know that you know. I'm 26. I'm not. I'm not old, but I'm a little like in terms of, of getting into something. I'm you know a little bit older. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. it's like really trying to just focus and perfect my craft. And so I, 
really am trying to you know get out there and go to if it's an open mic or something like that you know I'm more familiar with like you know I used to do like video editing and stuff so sure. it's something that like I know the like you know I could do get on a camera in my room and do a little something but yeah. I, now I'm like okay if I want to actually try to to do this I don't want to just be a in my room performer yeah you know yeah, yeah. I want to be able to to have the experience of going out there and also it really is fun Oh, I'm you sure. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a good time, and so it was like it was like I was nervous, but I was happy with how it came out because I was like, "Hey, for somebody who hasn't done anything since high school, <laughs> you know." And so I look forward to just being able to keep doing that, and also just again connecting with, I guess, my roots. You know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it it makes me happy that how much I love hip hop, and also again to have that family connection, and again my family, like you know. They, this is where they live and this is where hip hop was born so it yeah. really just you know I'm like I'm happy to be here in that sense absolutely so who, who would you who would you say I'm, I'm, I'm at I think these lists are always hard to come up with at least for me but like say you're I don't know three to five most uh, impactful uh, hip hop artists have been for you okay see so you're right that is a hard question yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I kind of I, I, I have been thinking about this a lot um, because I was, when somebody, I'm that person, you sometimes ask me something and as soon as you ask me, pff, out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get that. Missy Elliott, for sure, oh, I believe is, is probably, I, I, I think she's my number one. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, especially because um, when I look back on like growing up, you know, in terms of what could have been my influences, yeah. Missy Elliott was definitely one of them because one, she was allowed to be played in the house. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I gotta say, my parents were, but you, again, my dad was more the the hip hop person. So, but he made sure, you know, he was he was like, you cannot listen to this anybody, especially yeah. with cursing and stuff. And so, not that that there wasn't cursing, but he was like, let's let's see. And Missy Elliott was always on my list. I think her music just is so much fun. Yeah, you know, absolutely. when I listen to a Missy Elliott, so like she she's talented. I mean, well rounded. She can sing too. So it's like, I I. She's one of definitely one of the top because I just I enjoy every time I listen to a Missy song I'm like I can't even yeah, dance like that it, but I'm yeah. like let's go like you know so I think Missy is definitely like I'm, I'm yeah I'm gonna just put her up there I'm gonna yeah. say number one for me um, I also as a kid I also had um, it was the clean version of Eminem's um, I believe it was Curtain Call. Uh, so I <laughs> again the clean version. And there's a lot, you know? a lot of blanks. In that. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> quite a few blanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe less than some of his. Um, songs, but. but I, you know, I, I so I, I will stay Eminem because that was one of those like those albums that I always had. Yeah. Um, in terms of I guess like newer artists, I mean I'm out. You know, I'll shout out of course Nicki Minaj. She's very talented. I'm a huge J Cole fan. Yeah. Um, let me see. There's. I listen to a lot, so you just kind of like, let's see, who, yeah, who yeah, let yeah, me, sure, let, sure. I don't want to miss anybody. I'm also a huge Cardi B fan, yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah, you know, yeah. I, um, let me see, who else would be a, my brain, it's that moment where my brain's like, who? Huh? <laughs> like, I, I feel that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, I think, when I think of someone like, well, actually, okay, in terms of, one of my favorite artists is Angel Hayes. She's a mm. really talented, um, like lyricist and she can sing she's got that like just like I, I think like oh when I, I feel like you know some people have that whole package in terms of music like yeah. I I don't think I I don't think I dislike a single one of her songs yeah I think that she you know I think also in terms of being able to like she has those hits from like I guess like club bangers I'm just going off talking my <laughs> you know and then like to like that more emotional um side of music and yeah. so that's where I definitely you know I would say Angel Hayes is a huge influence there mm -hmm. um I have also you know I'm, I'm mentioning a lot of the ladies because one as a lady I was like I gotta make sure to like really you know pay attention to these female artists out Absolutely. here Absolutely. you know um and I think that it's it's actually in the last couple of years, I think it's great to see so many more or so, you know, yeah, just a lot of, of female artists, especially hip hop artists yeah, yeah, yeah. on the scene in, in ways that they weren't before. I know it's like record companies mm -hmm. would be sure to drive out, you know, like I, I feel like, you know, they were trying, I guess it kind of succeeded with between uh, 
uh, Nicki Minaj and, and mm-hmm. Cardi B, you know, they mm-hmm. yeah. put out the beef and try to drive one of them. Oh, I'm not with the out, beef. Oh, you know, you know this is but, where I, 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 I appreciate seeing more names than just one. Yeah. Um, yeah I will yeah, just yeah. say shout out to Little Kim again. Also, maybe not shout out, but you know, like, well, not just shout out yeah, in general because, yeah, yeah. like, who am I to shout out? But, you know, like, um, <laughs> Little Kim, you know, she was uh, definitely one of the front runners. Queen Latifah as well. Queen Latifah. I see, you know what? That, see, that's what I mean. You sometimes forget. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Queen Latifah, my dad let me listen to, you know? Sure, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And so, like, uh, Unity or you, you and I see you are. You know, that's definitely. Sure. Uh, uh, well, you know, they we had, that's a loose track, but I think that in terms of, I'm not with the beef because I think that people can just be talented. Yeah. You know, absolutely. I think that this is where like trying to pit woman against another woman is just not fair cuz you don't really no, see no. that when it comes to to like male hip hop. No, no. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, they got the different sides and you know, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. like this one whatever, but like there's a lot more like they need to beef. Like I there's got to be an I issue know. and I'm like can we just like them? Yeah, like sure. you know, and if you don't care for one or the other, it doesn't have to be a problem. You yeah, know, it's yeah. like cuz I I like, like I said, I like both of them. I like Absolutely. both of their music. I, you know, if it's for different reasons or not, like, I think that I, I enjoy it, you yeah. know? Um, and then, you know, uh, in terms of, I guess, like, to today versus the... I remember for a long time, you know, I guess, like, after um, Little Kim, Nikki was, like, the only spot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, listen, talented. So, you know, it's, it's not like it wasn't warranted. Sure. Um... But I think that the focus on only one leaves out, you know, just, it leaves out all the rest that oh, are definitely. there. And I think that it's, you know, I think hip hop should be a platform for more than one. Absolutely. Um, you know, you could be a queen in your own right. Go off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but I do, I, I feel like now, again, you still see them trying to pit, but we have more artists, you know, like, or female artists that you can name, you know, now, like, yeah. I think Megan Thee Stallion. I yeah, think she's, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of Megan. Oh, me too. You know, I, I'm like, I, I'm now in my head, I'm like, ooh, that hot girl. So, like, you know, like, yeah. So, oh, I, my God. I appreciate seeing that there are more than, you know, the focus is not just on one female um, rapper. Because yeah. I just think that there's so much talent out there. Absolutely. You know, and I'm, again, being out here, you know, sometimes my friends will send me, like, other artists that are either not as known or, like, they have their own, you know, they, they have their own, I guess, uh, like, I guess, uh, attention or, or fame, but not to the mainstream level. Sure. But they're so talented. And so yeah. it's just, I, I love to... to I, you know, I like to listen to people that are not, you know, that may not be on the mainstream yeah. or in the mainstream. Like I, you know, I feel like I'm well-rounded. I listen to a little bit of everything. And yeah. so it's, I think it's just, I think we're in a time where, um, you know, I think there are positives and benefits or, you know, or excuse me, positive and negatives, um, to like social media. But one of the benefits is that you get to see all these artists that you wouldn't probably not be able to see, yeah. you know, like before, you know, before I think it was like, you basically have to have a record deal to get your stuff out there. Um, whereas now it's like, you know, it's like, Hey, you you can, if you can, you know, get onto social media and sometimes like, yeah, I I know there's the the negative of like, well, sometimes these people just aren't good. Like I'm not going to get on that. Cause you know what? I will admit to liking music that is not technically good, (laughs) but like, (laughs) you know, exactly. Like I I was like, I'm just here to vibe. Like, you know, So, um, but I think that it's, I enjoy it because I get to see artists that I probably would have never come across before, yeah. you know, if it, if it wasn't out here, even in different places, you know, and so like, there's a couple artists that I listen to that are from the UK that I would have not heard of sure. had it not been for, you know, the, the online aspect. So, mm-hmm. is, is one of those things that just like everybody needs, Yeah, you know, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's, even if it's not something you're going to do as a career, it's just like, you know, what's your hobby? What do you do? You know? Yeah. And I think sometimes it's like something that I've noticed as I've gotten older. And then also like, you know, with, when talking to other people is like the passion they have for something as a kid that just kind of like dwindles out into adulthood. And then they find themselves going, well, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And I was, I, I kind of had that too, where it was kind of like, it's like I, the, the the way that I was as a kid, like not that the passion ever went, but I just my focus wasn't there. Yeah. And so I think that it's if we nurtured like I guess the arts a little bit more, it would just make people happier in oh, general. Absolutely. Like 
you know, you, you know, it's it is. I think it's just as important as knowing like math and science. Yeah, you know, like 100%. and at least for the soul, you yeah. know. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. I, if it, that's something, you know, I, you know, I know my grandma had to have talked about my little sister. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I love yeah. her so much. I, you know, I'm blessed to to have a little sister, especially, you know, she was born when I was 22, yeah. so I was a grown up. I was like, you know, <laughs> um, but like I, when I look at her, one of the things that I want to make sure is that she has, you know, this. The, whatever she's passionate about, I want her to stick with it. Absolutely. You know, she's already showing as a four and a half, you know, that she's she loves music, you know, she she Bruno Mars. Oof. Not a rapper, but Bruno Mars, that's my man. I love Bruno Mars. You know, so I, I will say I was proud that I passed that on to her. I, I played a lot of Bruno Mars for her when she was a little kid, but she, you know, that little kid, excuse me, a toddler, a little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so it's it's awesome to see her now and just like, you know, she's like, Bruno Mars. He's just <laughs> sing, you know, sing his music. And so um, I, you know, I want to make sure that she keeps that, like, energy and passion, even if Absolutely. she doesn't do anything with it. Like, Absolutely. you know. It's like if she wants to, she wants to, you know. I guess work in a bank, work in a bank, but yeah, have yeah, your yeah. passions on the side, yeah. whatever it is, you know. So Absolutely. I'm gonna support it, but I really, you know, I want to make sure that she just keeps up with that energy and that the things that she enjoys gets to have a, a focus, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, yeah, because pretty much every workplace is, you know, you can, It's easy to let it just consume all of your energy you know you get yep. home at night you don't want to do anything and yep oh um, man yeah i learned that i yeah one of the you know i think especially after the you know 2020 it was a really crazy year for everybody yeah 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 you know um one of the things that i learned in there was like yo what do you really want to do yeah you know like sure. is it like and you know, it's like yeah i want some money like you know what <laughs> like it's like i, I want to be able to to to, to I want to be able to live comfortably, yeah. but I also thought about like, like, how do you want to do that? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was it was a humbling <laughs> and also you know very shaking experience to suddenly be like, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, I, I turned twenty five. Uh, you know, it was Mar well, I'm, I, my, I'm born in May, so it was like two months into the pandemic, or two three months into the pandemic. Wow. You know, I'm turning twenty five, and suddenly I'm like, oh. So what you doing, sis? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also think, because, you know, one thing, I love New York. You know, I'm, I'll always say that I'm a New Yorker every day. Like, yeah. until I die, I, I make jokes. I'm like, put a Tim on my grave. Like, I just, I love, <laughs> I, I love New York. Um, but one of the things that the pandemic taught me was just how much we move. Yeah. It's just go, 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 go. You know, even like, you know, you get on the subway, everybody's like, I got to get a destination to go to. I got to go. I got to go. We got to go. Yeah. And so suddenly when everything stopped, it was like, what? You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I don't, what do you mean stop? Yeah. You know? And so, you know, it was, I think it was like, it's, it's one of those, it was a blessing in a way, but it's a hard, it's hard to use the term blessing because of so much that happened, especially, especially yeah. even out here and, you know, there was... I think the Bronx was one of the hardest hit communities. Absolutely. Um, I remember there was even an article that came out specifically about co-op, about oh, yeah. how many people we that. lost. Yeah. yeah. And so it was it was hard. You know, I it's it was an interesting time to get through mentally. Yeah, yeah. Um, with everything that was, you know, was happening around us. Um, but the slowing down allowed me to reevaluate. Yeah. Um, like what is it? you know exactly you would like to do what sure. is it you know is in like small ways or big ways you know like it's like yeah do you do you want to do, do you want to pursue like for me you know it's like music and arts like do you really want to pursue this or do you want to pursue something else what yeah. you know and so it was that that shutdown of like okay what am I doing? Because yeah. suddenly I realized I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, like all I knew was to work. Yeah. You know, and I was in my mind, I was like, so long as I'm working, I'm good. Like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, yeah. you know, and which is like true. But there was that moment of like, well, what am I doing to, I guess, feed my, my soul? Yeah. Essentially, like, Absolutely. you know, to, to outside of the making sure there's just money in my pocket. What am I doing? Yeah. You know, and so that has been like. You know, again, a, a 
kind of that, that blessing and a curse in a way and, and, and the way that I had to, to come to that realization. But I also think a lot of people kind of had similar realizations oh, during I that think time. So too. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of like, you know, I see a lot of small businesses coming up, you know, people really focusing on what they want to do. So yeah. I think that that is, a, is one of the, uh, you know, from the shutdown, one of the things that I guess was positive that came out of it was, yeah. you know, there's been a, a shift in like what people actually want for themselves. Absolutely. Um, and I definitely felt that, which is why it was like, you know, I'm like, I feel kind of like I'm starting over again. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, but I'm like excited. Yeah. You know, because now I'm like, okay, like, yeah, I want money, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but like I can, how can I do that in a way where I can, you know, I, I'm happy, sure. you know, with what I'm doing. Sure. So it, you know, it's, it's an adventure and I'm learning more about myself as I go. Um, and you know, it's, it's again, when you start over, it's kind of like, all right, I gotta, it's, it's going to take a little time, but I'm happy. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's like in that, it's, it's like a nervous, excited, like, yeah. cause I'm like, all right, well, what are we going to do next? Yeah. All right. Like, cause I don't really know, but I know that this feels a little bit more right, yeah. you know, yeah. than just like, all right, what's the next job? What's this? Sure. Let's just like, you know, cause I, I what works in that? You know, I, I worked, I, not that I, I never, well, hmm. <laughs> question marks on how much you like a job, yeah. but I had found myself in like some of my jobs where it was just like, I was so into it yeah. that I didn't have anything else to focus on. Okay, sure, yeah. You know, or, or at least like it was, you know, I, one of my jobs, it was like, it was a lot of work. I used to work at Trader Joe's and so it was like, it was a lot of work. And once you get yeah. into it's kind of like a little beehive or like, you know, that's my dad described it as, as like a beehive or the worker bees do what they got to do. Or like, there's even jokes that it's a cult. Like, you know, like, oh, yeah, right. there's a lot of jokes and I'm kind of like, you know, like, like maybe. yeah, like, you know, but I, I ended up so into, you know, what I was, you know, whatever it was that I was neglecting a whole different part of me, yeah, you know, yeah. even as little as like, Ooh, like let me go for a walk and just enjoy the sights. Yeah, you know it's because I when I get home I'm going to sleep. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, so really allowing myself to kind of enjoy the little things and try to just like again, I guess I'm just gonna go back to saying like to feed the soul a little bit more. Yeah. So that I can just enjoy. Yeah. You know, life and and and. Whatever it is that comes next, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, it, you know, I'm having a good time. I mean, it's, 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 it's one of those like again. It's sometimes it's not so good, but like overall, maybe I'm a little bit optimistic. But I'm like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take the good from this and you know just keep it going. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. I think that there is, if anything that you learn in life is there's a lesson. You know, it yeah. does even if it hurts. Yeah. You know, I think the thing that I learned was just like even the things that have hurt me the most have taught me so much yeah and absolutely. i'm so much better for it you just got to get through it yeah you know because <laughs> i think sometimes it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's just you just crawling and, it's, oh, and yeah. it hurts and you know oh my gosh this is awful but once you kind of you keep going and when you can take a moment to look back you're like oh like that hurt but wow! Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. This is lovely. Like, you know, yeah. we're so much better. And even if you have so much more to go, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna keep it going because yeah. I know that the, as long as I keep going, there's something better. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Um. So, uh, I guess a, a couple more questions about um, yeah, yeah. about your your music. Uh, do you remember the first? Um, first kind of rap that you wrote? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, again, it was, I, I, I'm sure I had written some fake raps, sure. you know, when I was young. I, me and my friends, or my friends know, especially in middle school, I used to, I was a big fan of Weird Al. So I used okay, to do yeah. like, like parodies and stuff. So I would yeah. sometimes write parody raps kind yeah. of things, but I had never taken it seriously. So it was, you know, at least for me, it was just fun. Yeah. Um, but when I, again, when I did that, that, Hip hop program. Oh man, I think one of the first ones, and it was. Oh man, let me see if I can remember some of the lyrics. So I got to try. But again, it was like it was in in this class. I'm sure there was some other stuff that I had written, but one of the ones that I I, I have I know I have it saved somewhere. Um, partially for just the nostalgia, not because it was good. Yeah. Uh, you know, but um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I should wrap any of it because I'm like, it's. I, I'm sure I cursed in it. One thing I will that's say, that's fine. You can curse I mean, you shout out to the teacher that we had because they, they said to us, they were like, you know, we just write what you want to write. Yeah. They didn't have like a limit on us. They weren't like, no, they were just like, no, nah, like, if you're going to curse a little bit, curse, you know, yeah, like yeah. we're, this is an outlet for you guys. Yeah. And so I think that like one of my first raps, oh man, it was like, I think it was like, oh, you hating ass girls need to stop the bitching. Like, shut the fuck up and get back to the kitchen. <laughs> Hush yourself and just wash all the dishes. Like, you know, so yeah, there was yeah, some other yeah, stuff. Like, yeah. I, and I, I honestly, there was a couple bars in there. You know, when I look at the, yeah. I, I have it somewhere. Like, but I know that, like, I looking back, I was like, you know what? Especially for somebody who had, you know, that was my first time essentially. Yeah. You know, sitting down, putting, I guess, a pen to paper in that way. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a it was, it was cute. It was yeah. cute, you know. Empowering um, too, I'm sure. Yeah, too. it was fun. Because also, you know, at the time, like, you know, we, it's, kids are mean. Absolutely. You know, so. Absolutely, yeah. I think it was a good outlet for me, especially, like, to just, like, you know, I don't have to argue with you. I could just put this out. Yeah. Into this, and I'm fine. And it's also, it's been a great outlet for me to be able to, like, if I'm going through something, like, sometimes yeah. I'm like, you know what? Let me channel it. It's not that I'll make it all about what I'm going through, sure. but it does allow me to sort of channel that energy into something better than, you know, if it just sits in my head. Yeah. Or if I actually go argue with someone, I'm not going through that. Especially with, with online, I am not. Yeah. I mean, I don't have the energy or the patience. So I'm like, you know what? Let me channel this or make this into something better yeah yeah so it, it definitely allowed me to do that and I honestly after that class I really just like I was like I didn't like I wouldn't I wouldn't rap for anybody but I would be in like my room you know like I'm gonna write this and my yeah. cousin she you know she was singing and so like we would always like you know she used to live with us so we would get together and like I'd be like yeah I wrote this you know and so like it just that's where it really started and yeah. then like over the years I've just Again, I have some amazing friends who have just always, like, pushed me, and they're like, you got to do this. Like, yeah. you should really, like, start putting music out. So that's why I'm trying right now to just, like, focus on it and just put stuff out, even if it's just for my friends sure. or for me, because yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not against listening to myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know? I know. Yeah. So, it's, I, you know, I'm, I, you know, again, that was a great class to, to allow me to just, I guess channel a side that I was afraid to channel because sure. like I said I've always listened to hip hop I always loved it but I was such a nerd I didn't know that I had a place yeah yeah. Um, and so I was you know I was like hey, listen, I'll, I will listen to all kinds of music sometimes I listen to music about gangbang and I'm like I am not I'm on my way to like a 9 to 5 <laughs> you know <laughs> but I'm in the car like yeah <laughs> you know like, and by car I mean Uber um, yeah, yeah. But, you know so it's one of those those things where it's just like I I'm happy to, to to be able to connect with something that I thought I didn't have a place in. Yeah, yeah. You know, and realize that, like, there really is a place for anybody. Yeah, You absolutely. know, I think as long as you have the love and the passion and you realize that, like, it's okay to be you. Yeah. Um, then, like, it's, it's all good. Because now that I've kind of had that, I'm like, okay, I'm a nerd. And I'm going to, and it'll show in my music. I'm yeah. also from the Bronx. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah that's going to show in your music. <laughs> exactly. But I, I enjoy being able to to kind of find a happy medium to, to tie those things together. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and you know, um, talking about the kind of universe universal appeal of hip hop, it's interesting that's one thing uh, a set of oral histories for actually uh, a related project that I've been mm -hmm. doing is trying to hunt down people who were just residents of 1520 Sedgwick who mm -hmm. might not have gotten into, you know, break dancing or graffiti or mm -hmm. the end scene or anything like that, but went to all the parties. Yeah. And I, I've found a few people, interviewed one person so far, and one thing that he remembers is that, you know, the building at the time, it had a good mix of, of black and Puerto Rican families, mm -hmm. but there were still a few, you know, leftover whites yeah, yeah. Um, in the neighborhood. And he remembers... Mm -hmm this one story like his friend group you know it was a mix of people from the building of yeah. course, and those are the people who show up to the parties but he remembers this one one I don't know probably 15 or 16 year old uh, white kid from the building actually rigged up the uh, you know like parking garage lights to power uh, cool herps like yeah, some yeah. of his setup at first uh, yeah. so you know like even from the very get go it's this kind mm -hmm. of universal I, 
Yeah. yeah. You know, when I had the chance to listen to, um, especially to, to, to Joey, or like when I, you know, I remember, I mean, again, this is some years ago, I went to a couple of his events yeah. and I remember they had some, I remember Crazy Legs was there and a number yeah. of other people. And so for me, it was cool to, to hear because it's like, you know, the way the community would come together and like even if you were just there yeah. <laughs> like you're like i'm not a part of the show but i'm a part of it yeah it yeah. was i think that it's I, it's just it it's beautiful and i get, again i think when it comes to the history of the bronx it's it's a big part of it that i i just i enjoy the listening to i guess i just enjoy listening to them talk about like you know what was happening yeah, you know yeah. and I, I always hear again there's always this like beautiful sense of community yeah at least from what i'm when i'm listening because again i wasn't there sure yeah, but yeah, yeah. i it's nice to to see that there was a, a place for all kinds of people because yeah. you know and actually you know hitting on the you know there's there's you know, again a lot of blacks and puerto ricans but even some whites like you know my, my some of my dad's friends are jewish or white so yeah, i've sure, always sure. had like a mixture of people in my life yeah. and so it's it's this is that moment where again it's like it's nice to to have people be able to come together yeah. over something that you know is as fun as hip hop. Yeah, Whether yeah. you're rapping, dancing, or whatever, you know, it really is just this. I don't know. I that, I think that's part of the reason I'm also love. I have that love for hip hop again. It's just the the love that my family has for it, you know, and then my love for the Bronx and just you know music wise. I yeah. just I've always always love music I always listen to it so I was like, like you know a little kid like okay like I'm in my room always singing and stuff so it's I I I think it's just a beautiful way for people to come together you yeah. know and I'm it's what what you know I, I was gonna say I guess in a way it's like what better place in the Bronx you yeah, know yeah, yeah. um but again it's it's I think the, the Bronx comes from like you know there's a it's been through a lot absolutely you know and there's still I think a lot of you know for Places, especially, and I'll say also just in places in New York in general, especially if you, you know, for minorities or, you know, lesser income areas. Yeah. Um, it is, um, I think I'm losing track, <laughs> but um, I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is just, it, it's nice that these are some of the things that came out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially because I think that this is like, I guess, a way of like a sign of joy. Yeah. You know, or like Absolutely. a... Absolutely. It's, you know, even when all the craziness that's happening around you, you know, look at where we can come together and just enjoy. Yeah. You know, and, and I guess, and vibe and just have a good time with each other. Yeah. Um, and again, the different backgrounds. I think one of the things I love about New York is just, it's such an, it's so many different people. Yeah. You know, I, I am lucky enough to also have been able to spend time outside of New York. Sure. Which also made me appreciate New York more. <laughs> yeah. Um, Absolutely. you know, I have family upstate where I yeah. would go upstate and for the longest time we were the only, only, like, for miles. I'm sure. <laughs> we were the I'm only sure. people of color out there. I'm sure. You know, and so I had this appreciation for New York because I'm, I'm like, I, we're really blessed to be able to, to experience the different cultures yeah i think that you know if anything that's what america should be about oh absolutely you know yeah. it's just the mix of cultures that we have and i think that new york is definitely a i guess a, a good uh picture of that yeah, you know, yeah i guess yeah. you know and so i you know i i I also I like it too because it, and with music you know that's that's where like that's where there's moments where you know people you might not think you have anything in common with yeah suddenly you have this like little like it's like a little connection where sure. it's like oh you like this yeah I like this and like what well, we can be cool and all that and so I I, I love New York because outside of it it's not that it's bad or anything but there is you know, when there's a, sometimes when there's a lack of diversity, yeah. which is something that, you know, when me going out there and then suddenly being the diversity, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, seeing Confederate flags in some of the ports that are bigger than anything I ever saw in the Listen, South. When I see a Confederate flag, like, especially like in the North, like, yeah. I'm like, you know, this is not the like right place. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, also yeah. I'm like, this is, you don't care, do you? Yeah, like, I know. So it's like, 
But I will say, you know, I was lucky enough to not have to experience too many issues out there. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes maybe some microaggressions and stuff. Sure. Um, or even sometimes, a lot of people just didn't know. Yeah. You know, I think that was one of the interesting things was learning that sometimes people just didn't know. Yeah. Because they weren't exposed to it. Yeah. You know, I was like, if I'm the first black person you've ever seen, like, <laughs> how are you supposed to really know how to... to to act and I mean now there's so much again with 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 the internet there's so many ways to educate and learn you know back then it was was not as was you know just it was we had the internet but it was kind of the start like it's funny to say that I'm like old enough to like be there for like the beginning of Google like I I still remember like the the Nokia phones like (laughs) a little like they look like calculators and stuff like like, let me search (laughs) the the T9 calculators like you know um so, I mean, there's been, a, I think there's a lot of ways for people to learn and grow, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I think it's great that we have that now, you know, back then it was like, you know, if you didn't, we didn't have the internet, so you couldn't like Google, you couldn't be like, Hey, like, what, what about this? You know? Yeah. Cause now you can pretty much Google almost anything and there is an answer somewhere, Yeah. you know? Um, but there was, you know, in, in terms of like meeting people, there was just times where like, they only knew what they saw on TV, Of course, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so it didn't. Like, it didn't make them bad people, but they had to unlearn some of those, like, you know, automatic stereotypes that they would assume because I'm a person of color. Yeah. And the one thing I will say, and this is still amusing to me, when I leave New York, I become the most gangster thing out there. (laughs) And I'm like, (laughs) for me? You say you live in the Bronx. Oh, man. I say, the Bronx? They're like, the Bronx? Wow, really? You know, one of the amusing things that I will, just to touch on briefly, was that, like, you know, there'd be a couple times where I'd go up there, you know, I'd meet some of my cousin's friends and stuff. And, like, as time went on, like, they was slowly but surely go from like yeah yeah da 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 to like yeah yeah what up and I'm like okay like oh like it's like yeah gangster da 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 I'm like this is not gangster you know oh it's it's like it's a little cringy oh, but it's also funny because in the back of my head I'm like I can comfortably sit here and feel like I'm Tupac like you know like, <laughs> So you, you know his mom, his mom actually <laughs> lived in, organized in the Bronx. I think she lived in the Bronx for a while. Okay. She was a Shakur. Um, so I have I have to do more research. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I was that was Tupac very talented. My dad did not let me listen to Tupac. <laughs> I'm sure. He's um, my favorite. It was always... yeah. I mean, now as an adult, I like yeah. you throw them on. I'm like okay, yeah. you know. <laughs> But as a kid, like this is where he was like, you know, in certain language, certain lyrics, he was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it was that's where I, it was very, I guess, a little selective. Like I still had a great, you know, uh, I guess, hip hop uh, exposure, yeah. but it was still like, all right, how old are you? We going, we'll keep some of this away. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. So, um, so go, going back a little to your uh, childhood. What about food? What are some things that you remember eating Ooh. growing up? Okay, so shout out to being Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I am, I will say, I am lucky that I have some great cooks in my family. I'm not, oh, well, it's not that I'm not a good cook. I just, it's, I'm not somebody who was like, I like cooking. Yeah. I'm learning to, to like it. Yeah. And so I, I enjoy that. And so I'm like, all right, now I can cook for myself. But let me see. Uh, my family makes a mean bed need. I really don't need it on the holidays. But yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. as soon as it's like I'll go I'll go the whole year and the holidays show up, I'm like, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is from my hands like bird yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. <laughs> Um so bed need was is one of my favorite holiday things. Um I mean, you know, I I'm kind of a sucker for the basic rice and beans. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um my mom can make some she knows how to make beans very good. Yeah. Um Tata, she makes a great flan. Yeah. You know, I, coquito is also, you know, that's something that I've I've enjoyed. I, I learned to make it too, so I can make I coquito. That's that actually not how to make. <laughs> so I make I make a good I make a good coquito. So does my dad, you know, so that's something that um you know, especially again, these are kind of like holiday foods sure, I'm thinking sure. of. Um I will say, you know, my family has always been also good about like it wasn't just Puerto Rican food that we would eat, you know. I, we would, you know, they would my mom likes to experiment. She calls it a la Rosie. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. so she'll, well, her name is Rosie. So, you know, um, she'll, you know, it can be, 
and I thought sometimes maybe it's like a Chinese dish, you know, yeah. like there's the influences. The other thing about New York is like, I love the, the different, you know, the access to the different cultures, especially the food, oh, like, yeah, you absolutely. know? Absolutely. So it's, it's nice to, to be able to have an appreciation and also at home where it's like, yeah, like we're gonna, we're gonna try to do this, like see how it comes out. I'm not saying it's authentic, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But if it tastes but, good, like, it, tastes good <laughs> it tastes good. Um, let me see, I'm trying to think, I, you know, um, let me see. I mean, it was Thanksgiving just passed, so I yeah. will say I'm a fan of the mac and cheese. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I see. I'm on. The, I'm in that holiday mood because like, <laughs> the holidays. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, right here. I'm ready for the holidays. Because oh, like, <laughs> my, especially my mom's like, man, they throw down. <laughs> Yo, the place they get. I'm like, I, I, go, I don't eat all day. No, I went and I swear the plate was like that. It was like. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to finish this. I bought a Tupperware with me, though. So That's I made smart. sure. Bring yeah. it with you. Because it's like, if I know I can't finish this portion. Yeah. But I'm going to take it home with me. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like, I feel like so a lot of the traditional Puerto Rican foods, sure. you know, um, there was a, my parents used to take me to some of, like, the restaurants. And so I was always a fan of the, the chicharrones de pollo yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Um um, a fungo. Oh, sure. I, that's, that's not something that that we really make as much um, yeah, ourselves, yeah. but it's like a pain to make. Yeah, it's I mean, I've never made it. I think yeah. my mom she made it like maybe once or twice, at least in the recent years. Yeah. But hey, shout out because it came out really good. <laughs> like you know, so I, I that's where I, I enjoy going to the different restaurants yeah. and being able to try the different food. You know, to things that I wouldn't normally eat at home. I'm like, okay, like yeah. let me have a little bit out here. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. I'm also a fan of Mexican food. I'm oh, a very sure. good kind of Mexican food. There's such good Mexican food. Ooh, here yeah, oh, you know, I hear California though. Yeah, <laughs> so it's real. Too, like, so I'm like, I'm looking at Cali. Like, so I might have to pop up. Like, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I I don't know. I've always had like a mix thing of foods to yeah. be exposed to so and, I, and again I also you know being that I've, I've had like you know again all different kinds of people in my life I've been allowed to to you know try you know all kinds of foods that I probably wouldn't normally never try yeah, yeah you know so I feel like I have a pretty decent palate I also took a class one time that made us um it was like a I believe it was like an anthropology class essentially okay. um but they is that is it anthropology yeah but um at least I think that was the focus <laughs> Um, but like they, there was one assignment where they were like, we're going to take you to, um, different restaurants. You're going to eat food you wouldn't normally eat. Yeah. You know, and just like, and, and, you know, cause I think a lot of times it's like, ew, what's this? Yeah, like yeah. I, I ate chicken feet for the first time yeah. in my life. That was, yeah. that was in high school. I mean, I have not eaten it since, but <laughs> I did it like, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. like, and so I, I appreciate that I think that class or at least the, the thought process that I have from that class after afterwards has allowed me to like kind of like okay I'll try things that I wouldn't normally try and then also on top of that I'm in New York yeah for sure so it's like I, I can go to all kinds of restaurants and just kind of get that little like ooh like yeah. you know a little taste of I guess their home you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and so it's you know I shout out to food in New York you know? <laughs> big shout out to food in New York so. <laughs> So, um, anything else to say about food before we move on to Ooh. other topics? Hmm. Any recommendations? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess one thing, uh, does your dad do any cooking or yeah. did he do any cooking growing yes. up? Yes. Yeah. Actually, both of my, I will say shout out to both my parents. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying shout out, but yes. <laughs> I say it all. Nah, I, I um, it. Yeah. both of my parents, um, can cook. Um, and actually, I, I should have mentioned my dad, too, because my dad is somebody who, like, I guess earlier in my life, it's not that he did, couldn't cook, but, yeah. like, he didn't cook as much, or he had, like, kind of, like, a limited amount of dishes that sure. he would do, um, but they always came out good. Yeah. Um, but over the years, um, so my stepmom, she actually, she has a lot of allergies. Oh, okay, okay. So, it's, and I, I bring it up, though, because it's, like, it was a positive for me, in the yeah. sense of having my dad really start experimenting with different foods ah. um and so oh that man can throw down oh yeah oh yeah i mean and in different ways than like his sometimes his cooking isn't always the traditional like puerto rican cooking sure not that he can't do some of that but it's 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 awesome because i'm like oh i get to try things again that i wouldn't normally have tried also yeah. like you know finding out that there is actually a world for people with allergies. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because it is hard when you have certain allergies. Yeah. Um, like certain things that have to be avoided. And so 
I just think that the it really just helped him to 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 branch out as a as a as a cook. Sure. Um, and so I mean, he he does this gluten free and egg free um pizza. Oh, okay. That yeah. like as hard to do. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. to and it took him some time, but he found like a a, a good brand that it, you know of um, I well, yeah, gluten yeah gluten free egg free and what else I feel like I'm corn free. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you know. Again, sometimes with the, with those with those things, one or the other is usually the like the th- like you know corn will be like a, a I guess a replacement sure, for yeah. a lot of things with I guess with like gluten and stuff, and so he has perfected this pizza. Wow! And so I and he does every Friday. And that's how for in the pandemic. That's how I knew it was Friday. Yeah, was when I would see him post an Instagram picture of the pizza. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he does a great pizza. He hasn't done this in a while, but he does a really good like eggplant parmesan. Okay. Um, and so it's yeah, I I'm lucky that people have been around to cook for me. Yes. Yeah. So now again, I've been learning again, like not that I couldn't cook, but I've been experimenting and doing different dishes myself. And yeah. so like, you know, I one of my things I enjoy doing is like stuffed peppers. It's okay, like really yeah. fun. I love stuffed peppers. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, that was something that was like. I didn't realize how easy it was. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's delicious and it's pretty healthy too. You know, yeah, like, cause yeah. I, I like, I love vegetables. I throw like, I like to chop up like broccoli. Um, oh, I'm, I don't usually put this in my stuffed peppers, but I like Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Wow. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, like, you know, there's, there's things that I, I, um, yeah, things I wouldn't like normally have, have ever touched before that sure. I'm like, Ooh, like, Ooh, I can make this and this is, this is deadly so, like, you know? Um, but yeah, so it's, I, I feel like I'm losing track, but like food, food is great. Yeah, you know, absolutely. <laughs> um, so another aspect of people's childhood that I'll, I'll sometimes ask about is, was religion a very big part of your childhood growing up? Um, you know, I actually feel like I was very lucky with um, the way that I was, I was raised in terms of church. Yeah. Um, because I have the experience of, um, so I was actually, so it, it was pretty important, although my parents were both like, they, you know, they, they, they believe in God and they, they, they have, you know, their, their beliefs, but we didn't always go to church a lot, sure, sure. but it was really that we hadn't yet found the church for us. Okay, okay, um, yeah. and, um, a lot of my family on my mom's side was, you know, was, went to like Catholic school yeah. and I think that. You know, I, I don't want to speak for them, but like in some of the conversations I've had with some of them, it gave them a very harsh, yeah, I guess, um, view of religion. Yeah. Um, and you know, I I feel a little lucky that I didn't have to go to Catholic school. Yeah. Um, because I feel like that made me would have damaged my relationship with religion and God. Sure. Um, but I was lucky enough that like when I was like eight years old no seven or eight years old my 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 best friend growing up carl took me to his church okay um it's avid lutheran on 93rd street Mm. um we we still my grandma still goes a lot i actually i'm trying to to start going again a little bit more yeah um but i you know i so i was baptized catholic but i had my communion and confirmation christian or so lutheran sure um but i you know i feel like i had a good experience i have to say i've been lutheran church was uh i guess a progressive church is one of the is it one of the words to use yeah, yeah um but they didn't make me fear yeah god in the way that sometimes i feel when i talk to other people who were so involved in the church yeah definitely. um have you know um and i felt I don't know. I had a very positive relationship with church, as, yeah. you know, growing up because of, of because of going there. Sure. You know, they were one of the things that, or a couple of things for me was like one. I remember, I think it was in one of my confirmation classes. Yeah. Um, but the woman who was leading at the time, Julie, she said something that for me shook was shook me a little bit because I was not expecting it. But she was like, "It's okay to question God." Yeah. You're not taught that in a lot of places. No, 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 Don't no, question no. him, period. There's yeah, just this, like, you know, yeah. like, no, and this is that, this is this, this. It's, like, yeah. it's very strict, like, and it, especially when you're a kid, can just leave you, like, okay, you know, and, like, all right, like, you know, you, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah. But it was, you know, to, to have somebody say that was, like, whoa, 
You know, she of course yeah. went into more detail, but it allowed me to um, have a more positive relationship sure. with um, like church and I and I guess religion. Because yeah. I, I will say now that I, I guess I'm more spiritual yeah, than yeah. like I am religious. Like I still have, you know, like I, you know, again, I'll still go to church because that's you know where I grew up, and I still, you know, I, I have all those things in me. But I realize that like the for me maybe the, the the strictness of some of the religion i'm like okay like yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I, I i feel like sometimes that strictness can affect somebody's relationship with god in fact i know a lot of people that because they were so into uh i guess certain religions don't want anything to do with oh, it anymore sure. Absolutely. um so i feel lucky that i didn't have that like you know that that anti like or, or that just like such a I, I don't know, it's such a strange relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also, you know, my church is, when I say it's also, you know, we had a gay pastor. Yeah. Or we, my, I don't I think she went to a different church. I don't think, and I have to, yeah, I don't think she's at the church anymore. But they are, like, supporters of the LGBTQ, T, wait, LGBTQIA plus, I, I'm yeah, trying, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and... <clears throat> I think that that is something for that is you know when it comes to religion is not always a thing. Oh, definitely. Very often that you you don't have that, and so I feel blessed that I went to a place where I didn't have the like anti this, anti yeah, that. Like yeah. it's like this is bad. Like we never that was never a thing, and so I appreciate it because I love people now, you yeah. know, and, and yeah. in general, like at this, I think that it's. I found it, I just, I think it, I think for me, that's just where really more God is at, yeah. you know, and not to get too into that, but just like, sure. I think that that open space where you are welcome, like no matter who you are is so important. And so I just thought that, you know, being there, I was, I, you know, I'm going, I'm, like I said, I went recently, you know, and it was, it was just kind of like, as I remember. Yeah. And it was nice to see people I hadn't seen in a long time, but they even had a flag outside with the, okay. the, the gay flag and the trans flag. Okay, yeah, yeah. To have a church that supports all of that I is know. really, I, I, I mean, I'm kind of struggling for words. I mean, one, I just think it's really important, you know, because, yeah. um, you know, I guess historically it's very anti that. Yeah. Um, and so I just, you know, I, I was lucky to go to a church where I didn't have certain ideals pushed onto me. Sure. Um, and to feel a little bit more, um, comfortable and, um, I guess a little free with, yeah. with the relationship to God while still, you know, like I said, I went, I did, I did com communion. I, you know, I went, did my confirmation, but I never had that negative, like impact on me, sure. I guess. Or, you know, so I, I feel very blessed to have had that growing up. Cause like I said, when I have conversations with other people, like, you know, one of my, one of my, um, somebody who was close to me had expressed it, like, basically, like, you know, it's like, they were taught to fear, yeah, you know, yeah. and like, if, if you did this, it was bad, it was this bad, yeah, you know, yeah. go to hell, da, 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 and especially when you're a kid, like, that's really stressful. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and, and yeah. yeah, and then the thing is, kids turn into adults who have to work through that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, I was glad that I didn't have to deal with the additional, like, negative aspect that can be I guess kind of forced onto you through religion sure. you know this is and this is kind of where like I said I feel a little more like I have a connection to God and I feel spiritual not as not as religious but yeah. um I don't know I guess I it allowed me to have that freedom and to still feel that connection you know yeah, um without yeah. feeling like oh my gosh I'm so bad for not praying every single day or going to church every Sunday for yeah. 12 hours a day you know like yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of thing so I you know i I'm pretty lucky in that sense. Yeah, you know? yeah. Did do you do you remember if your family had any kind of um, rituals that you all might do in the home or things um, like that? Yeah. Um, my, I mean, I was young, so I I can't say that I will have the best memory of all of this. Um, but my grandmother, um, you know, she would she would like do cleansings, you know, for sure. us. Um, she was actually like people would sometimes go to her. Okay. Yeah. To yeah, yeah. to. I, I guess, I, you know, I guess for readings, I, you know, again, I'm not sure if I'm using the right terminology and stuff, sure. but you know, she would do cleansing. I, I, I'm familiar with these, like they crack an egg and stuff, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. um, I, um, you know, I will say there's, 
I've also, you know, I, like I said, I went to church, uh, for, you know, I was baptized Christian, but I've also had ex exposure to different, like, religions or different aspects of, sure. like, um, I guess, religions. Like, you know, I, I um, again, I'm not personally involved in any of it, but, like, I've known people who, who well, I have, like, family who's, like, Santeras or sure. Babalaos and things yeah. like that, so I've, I've been able to, to kind of see, see and learn, like, a, a little bit of the beauty from all of these things, you yeah. know? Um, but um, I remember, you know, they would, some, well, one, something that that actually does sometimes, like, for the house example, we keep a cup by the door, you know, yeah, to, to, yeah. to get the negative energies out, you know, or, or the keep it by the door, you throw it out, you know, sure. to, um, I'm also, I, I'm, I use sage from time yeah. to time, you know, to, to do a little cleansing. I think it's important to, you know, I guess, cleanse the space of any negative energies, to yeah. especially just... I, something I, I learned that later on, you know, it's like, yeah, this is, you don't realize how something, I guess, is good for you until yeah. you, I guess, you start doing it more. And you're like, wow, I think this helps, you know? Yeah. Um. So I, you know, I mean, there was, you know, prayers before bed and stuff. I can't really think too much. But I, like, again, I remember, like, some of the, the cleansing things that, sure. that, like, my family would do. I, I, I don't know about any of the other stuff, really. Sure, sure, sure. Um... But that is something that I also like. Now I'm like, okay, you know, let's cleanse the space. Yeah. It's good, you know. I it's good for it's good for the space and it's good for your mental health and, yeah. and I guess also the spirit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So I think that would be the I guess some of the little rituals that I can think of. Sure. You know. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um. So going back to uh, kind of you know your your family in a broad sense. Uh, um, what are things that you remember hearing about either Evelina or Lillian or um, or your your own grandma growing up? Oh man, um, that they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that absolutely. Um, uh -huh. You know, I I um, unfortunately I you know Evelina passed away before I was born, sure. so everything that I know about her is from stories. Yeah, I mean. And I, I feel blessed enough to just have those stories, especially from, you know, this is her family, or my family, but, um, yeah. you know, from her sisters, her kids, and, and then also, uh, excuse me, um, also other people that knew her yeah. in her life. You know, one of the things that I hear is she was a tough cookie, Absolutely. you know, yeah. uh, they, she was called the hell lady of the Bronx, and I love it, honestly, I, love I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm like, that's a cool name, that's a cool <laughs> like, name. <laughs> and you know what, like, I, I, kind of live for it yeah. so um i i you know again it, it's i wish that i had been able to know her herself but i do feel like i know her in a way yeah you know because i i know her 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 family you know i know her, her children i know her sisters you know i did know lillian um yeah. she passed when i was i think i was like 11 mm -hmm. you know um but i still got to you know i had her in my life for that time yeah. um and I, for me, a lot of my experiences, what, you know, when people meet me, they're like, oh, you're Elba's granddaughter, you know, and there's so much love behind that. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, they love her, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, cause I love her too, but it's really is beautiful to meet other people who will tell you, like, you know, the influence, the, the impact that your grandma had on my life or that yeah. Evelina or Lillian or whatever they did. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing because even, you know, there's that, I don't know if that's, that she probably mentioned that she's doing the Evelina 100. And yes. so, um, I'm on the, the committee for that. And so I got to, in one of the meetings, you know, people would, were talking, there was even people like me who didn't know Evelina, yeah. but they were still, you know, they, they still looked up to her yeah. because of what she, you know, the person she is, whether it was something she did for their family or what she did for the community. Um, and so I, you know, I, I, you know, I just, I'm just blessed and I love to hear it. You know, that's really where, like, you know, again, my, you know, my, my grandma's my grandma. She has a huge influence and impact on my life. Yeah. And so I, you know, I mean, I loved her before, but yeah. I love her even more, you know, and I always love her for that. But it really is beautiful to really see what the impact is outside of the family. Yeah. Um, and just how much love that there is out there for her and her sisters. You know, her sisters sure. have passed on now. Yeah. You know, and it's, the love is still there. And it's just as powerful as it was before. And I, you know, I'm, 
I just feel blessed. It's the, it's the easiest, the, the, you know, I'm, I don't know if it's a cop out to say that, but I just, I just, I, you know, that's really where I just feel lucky to be able to have such amazing women in my family. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be connected to that by blood, especially. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, I'm like, sometimes again, it's that pressure of like, Am I worthy? But like I, I, you know, and not to say that I that I don't think that, but it is one of those like, wow, like I come from good stock, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, also I feel also lucky that there's, you know, that it was strong women. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not to to say not to, to, to like, we live in a world where it's a little hard to be a woman. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, and. I have always felt lucky that, like, it's, I guess my dad is, is it the matriarchs of the family, or like, I'm coming yeah. from a family where it's like the women are essentially the heads of the family, sure. or have been the, you know, like, uh, I don't know, the the rock, you yeah. know. And also, like I said, on my mom's side, we, you know, I have a lot of strong women there too. That so, like that, yeah. yeah. So I feel very lucky to have come from a place or from people where it's. Or from women again, like specifically, so I have something to look up to as a fe- you know, as, a, as, a, as a, especially as a woman of color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, because it's kind of like a, a double whammy there. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. When you're living in a world, um, misogyny and racism and other things come into play. Yeah. You know, I also I consider myself to be a queer woman as well, so yeah. it's one of those things where it's like <laughs> triple threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but yeah. Um, I feel. Yeah, I just feel really lucky to have these people to look up to. Sure. Um, and, you know, to kind of be able to channel some of that energy in, you know, in my life, yeah. you know, and in terms of who I am and going forward. Yeah. Um, it's also allowed me to look at, you know, when I'm out in the world, when I meet other, you know, to be able to, I guess, spot the strengths yeah. in certain like different people and again I, I you know i'm saying in, in general different you know you don't have to be a woman specifically but sure. i to, to to center a little bit more on it you know um you know i, I mentioned my um my middle school to you know teacher miss de los santos i yeah. to this day you know even again my best friend we are still best friends we went to that school we talk about her from time to time yeah you know because she really was that she was she was something yeah. you know um and I, I, you know, I just, I feel like part of, you know, my family allowed me to recognize that yeah. and to be able to, to be surrounded by people all my life. And again, especially women of color, yeah. um, has just, uh, it's a blessing that you don't really realize that you, you need, or even, you know, to, to recognize in, yeah. in, in ways. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just, I'm blessed. And I try to, I'm like, all right, strong women over here. Let's keep it going. (laughs) You know, and I, you know, I, in my mind, I'm just like, I just hope that I can, I guess, measure up in my own way. Yeah. You know, to that legacy. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's a big one. Yeah. yeah, You know, and I, again, I just kind of feel like it's like just, and that's why I keep saying blessed. So I'm just like, Yeah. Cause I, you know, I, to be able to, to be to such close, I guess in such close proximity to, you know, to these women has just been a blessing. Even if they weren't alive when I was alive, you know, or, or passed on when I was young, you know, I, I just feel blessed to be around, I guess that energy. Cause it's like, you know, I, I'm, I think, you know, people pass on, but they're never really gone. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I definitely feel that and I see that when I get to to, to meet strangers who yeah. light up when they're like oh my god you're, you're Elba's granddaughter yeah you know it's like and even like you know they know my dad's name too they know my uncle so like they're like oh okay you know it's like they, they hear the last name they're like oh okay so you're so I, I love I, I love to see it because it's also it's just it's it's very I don't know it's just it's very beautiful yeah you absolutely. know um to see an impact that's so I don't know. It's just I, you know, I, I maybe uh, maybe another day I'll be able to think more, but or, or to think of better words to use. But for now, I'm just I keep leaning on to just it's beautiful, you yeah. know, um, and it makes me happy to again just 
be able to kind of absorb what I can from that. Yeah. Um, and the stories of that. And again, to know that, like, you know, that's, it's not just, you know, it's like, hey, that's my family right there. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's my grandma. Because, yeah. like, you know, I went to, I've, you know, I've been to a couple events in the last couple months, and every time they're like, oh, Elva? You know, and, and so it's great, because then I get to hear, you know, whatever their experience was with her. Yeah. You know, or, and again, it's not just with, with you know, it's, it's the three sisters, you sure. know, say they're, they're, they'll go on to these little, like, you know, even if they don't know who I am, if they're talking about it, yeah. I like to listen because I'm like, and it's like, you don't have to know who I am because yeah. at this point, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a granddaughter. It's all cool. It's all cool. Like, you know, it's okay. You don't have to know who I am, <laughs> you know, but it is, it is cool to, to kind of just like, listen yeah. and, and like, yeah, tell me more because yeah. this is where I, I learn, you know, this, this, this is where I can take in the information that, you know, I'm not always there. I'm not going to know everything that she does, you know, she can tell me or not everything that, you know. Again, Evelina or Lillian did, but yeah. I, I'm here to listen. I'm here to take it in, and I just, I feel again. I go back to saying I just feel blessed to be able to be here and listen for it. You know, to hear yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. What are um What are things that you know that the three sisters, including your grandma, were fighting for? You know, as long ago as the '60s and '70s, um, that. Uh, we're still fighting for today and that you'd like to Ooh. you know see happen in your lifetime well you know i guess definitely like you know i mean one i think about the arts a lot yeah you know because my, my grandma is very involved in the arts absolutely um and so i definitely think in regards to the arts that there needs to i, I kind of said earlier like i think that it's important um for everybody you know that regardless of how much you're into it or not yeah um so i i feel like um I'm, you know even in schools and stuff you know when we see that there's a lot of programs being cut because it's like it's not you know it's, it's oh this isn't important it's like, yeah, like, there's not as many i guess music classes or or drama or art in general because it's just like oh Get, get the, you know, there's some statistics in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really hate statistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, no, I know. I took that class. I was like, oh yeah, my God. I hate that class oh, too. <laughs> oh, that's like the one class I can confidently say I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. You know, and I'm yeah. pretty smart, but I was like, ah. But so anyway, you know, um, I do think that there needs to be um, more of an importance or a focus on the arts. Again, whether it's music, painting, performing you know if it's a you know acting or whatever it is I definitely think that there needs there should be a focus on that so and you know also you know I'm thought that we'll talk a lot about other Puerto Rican artists so I also think that it's um it's important for um not you know and focusing on Puerto Rican but also just people of color you know regardless I there should be a focus on like uplifting those artists absolutely um I also, in terms of, like, I remember as a kid reading um, Nicolás Amor's book about Evelina. Okay, um, yeah. The, the story of, wait, the story of El Barrio, right? Yeah. Was, oh, was, oh, man. Suddenly, see, I should know the name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, I'm pretty sure I said it right. I think so, so yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah. Evel you know, because you know what, my, what I'm thinking about in my head is I keep thinking Evelina's heart, but that was the, the, the play they did on her. Mm. So... Um, but so I, you know, I remember reading the book as a kid yeah. and in terms of like, I guess, um, things for the community, yeah. I, you know, in terms of, I remember, oh man, I feel like suddenly I'm like, does she actually know what she's talking about? Uh, you do. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I mean, I guess what, what I'm trying to say is like, now I think that, you know, there are things that have improved, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah. Um, again, especially in the Bronx, because yeah. I think this is a neglected community. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I think this is also where that passion of, like, we will never leave the Bronx. Yeah. You know, where I'm like, I feel you, sis. <laughs> like, I might dip for a little, but I'm going to come back. Like, yeah, this is yeah, where yeah. My, my home is. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but I think that there's definitely a lot of work in terms of like, I guess education, yeah. you know, in terms of 
I guess the attention that communities get, you yeah. know, in terms of money and like, cause you know, I, being that I grew up in Manhattan, I see a richer side yeah. to Manhattan, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. that you can see when you go to certain areas, like obviously, you know, well, even now, like I said, I grew up on 125th, 125th is not the same yeah. as when I was growing up. I, you know, there is, there's a Whole Foods on 125th. There's a Starbucks on the corner that's from like where I used to live. Yeah. I, when I saw the Starbucks, I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was I like, know. oh, this is different. You can tell that yeah. Something's going on you know, um, yeah. I think that we need better support rather than gentrification. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Because it's you know you don't want to push the people out of the community. It's the, it should be that we're making the community better. Yeah. Not erasing the community. Yeah. Um, and so I, it's going to take work, you know, I think also, you know, I, I recently I've been, I had a couple conversations where like a lot of this starts with like, I guess like the smaller, you know, I think a lot of people are like, go to the top, to the president. Like, yeah. all right. You know, it's like, that's, that's sure. But like <laughs> really uh, where a lot of the voices are going to come from are, you know, really for like people like Evelina, yeah, you know, absolutely. who, who are out here speaking up for us, yeah. um, to make it better. Um, so I, it's maybe I, maybe I just follow in her footsteps and start talking more, you know, but it's, yeah. it's, um, I don't know. I guess it's, it's like I've seen, you know, again, I wasn't, I wasn't born for a lot of the struggles that they had to, you know, I wasn't around sure. for a lot of the struggles they had to deal with. So in a way, I'm ignorant because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't here. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, lucky enough that like my family, you know, for the most part, we haven't had to have been in the situation where we're seeing the really hard times that you yeah. can face. I mean, the pandemic also showed a lot of that to me. Yeah. You know, and, I, and this is when I started hearing more stories of people struggling. Yeah. Um, so I think that, like, the hope is that we continue to, to I guess, grow. Um, but I don't know if that's the, the right word that I'm looking for. But it's like, we need better. Yeah. And I, for sure, Evelina was on track. And my grandmother and, and Lillian, for what they contributed, yeah. for sure, yeah. are, yeah. I, you know, some of the catalysts for creating that change yeah um and i think we definitely need to keep going yeah um you know it, it, it's it's one of those journey where it do, journeys that doesn't stop sure. you know it's like we we have to keep going and there's gonna be a lot of things that we i guess face that you know are i guess is, is it i guess adversity is, is if that's the word yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah um and i mean i don't want to say that it's okay but that's a part of it yeah. So going forward, hope it's just better, you know. All right. Um, but um, what was I saying? Uh, going forward. Going forward, hope it's just better. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think that a lot of that is going to start in the community itself. Yeah. Um, you know, because I think this is that moment of like you can't make somebody higher up care. Yeah. You know, because if they're not here, why would they care? Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. or if it's not on their it's not on their list of things to do or if they got money to put other places, they're going to put it in those places, yeah. you know? Um, so I really think it does start in the community. Yeah. Um, and I guess this is where like that, you know, those little, like the little, as little as like, you know, I, I guess again, I had mentioned, you know, in the pandemic seeing like the food lines, yeah. you know, that's something small, but like keeping your community fed is, is important. Absolutely. Um, New York is a really expensive city. Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. and it makes it really hard for those who don't have a lot of money to 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 live comfortably. Yeah. You know, cuz you know, some of the hardest working people I know or, or or have known work insane like will have more than one job, work insane hours, but you know, the cost of living versus the pay. Yeah, I know. Is just know. like uh, <laughs> I was going to say it ain't shit, but like, okay. but it really just, it's, yeah. it's not. And so it's really, it's sad to see when a community essentially has to struggle. Yeah. Not because they want to, but this is what we've been given. Yeah. You know I mean? Let's, uh, 
shout out because this is where some of the strongest people I mean, you know, a lot of the strongest people I know are in this community. Yeah. You know, and the hardest workers I know are in this community. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I, you know, I guess in terms of going forward, it's, it's, you know, I, no, it's I have, I have you know I have a lot of stuff going on in my head. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the hope is that there's I guess more community togetherness. Yeah. I mean, because the Bronx is huge. Oh yeah. You know when you yeah. like, look at a map, the yeah, Bronx is huge. It takes an hour and a half to get from. Oh from my one gosh! I can Sometimes, but it's yeah. yeah. It takes longer for me to get to like Riverdale than it does for me to get into Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, the Bronx is huge. Um, so, you know, it is, I guess, it's kind of like starting in the small communities of the Bronx before saying the com Bronx as a whole. Yeah. It should work as a whole, but it's got to start that, you know, I guess, community by community, area by area. So I also yeah. say town, but I don't think we call anything <laughs> town out here, you know? Um, but so I, um, I think that that's where a lot of the, our growth can, or, you know, to, to better the community would definitely start with us. Because yeah. if we're not doing it, they're not going to do it for not us. Not at all. Yeah. Like, it's just, they're going to focus on Manhattan, Soho. Yeah, always. Like, you yeah. know, it's like, ooh, where can we make money? Yeah, exactly. You know, and, you know, this is where it's, I, I also, you know, and when I say small, I mean, I, I'm, I got to learn a little bit more about politics to really make informed you know, opinions about this, but I know that in terms of like, you know, I remember I did a project in college about gentrification in the Bronx specifically. Yeah. yeah. Um, where it was, um, there was this really tasteless, well, it was an article talking about a very tasteless party that was thrown where they were, I think they were trying to rename, uh, I believe it was like the Mott Haven area, maybe. Um, I know, but by the Piano water. district. Yes. Bad that, yeah. Do you remember that party where it was like I the Bronx's burning yeah. party and they yeah, had yeah. on fire cars and and like celebrities yeah. at, at standing around garbage fires? Yeah. Most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. I know. Um, and it was like, not nah, you cannot be, no, these are not the people to make the Bronx better. Yeah, not because, at all. And that's, this is where it's like, I know it's, it's hard, I'm sure it's hard, but we... I think more people in this community need to make decisions for this community. Absolutely. Because um, if we have people doing it from outside, they don't know. They're like, yeah, hey, I want some money. Let yeah, me, let, yeah, let's yeah. go put in a big skyscraper on the water. And yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. Like, I, and arguably, if you want to come in, build some new buildings, that's not a bad thing. But what you do is you come in, build these buildings, and then hike up the rent so the people who were living here can no longer afford it. Absolutely. I and then know. they're forced to go where? You know? Las State, Florida. You know, and so yeah. it's, I, I've got some passion there. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I mean, um, it's, it's something that, that I've been encountering continually in this oral history project is a lot of the times the people that I need to record an oral history but no longer live in the Bronx because they're quite yeah. priced out. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, and so, you know, I have to, figure other ways to record an oral history zoom mm -hmm. or whatever it might be yeah but yeah it's no like, but it's i it's a lot you know i when i say you know um stepping from the bronx but into you know like i said i grew up on 125th yeah and so for me that is one of those experiences where i've seen the before and then i guess the current yeah you know yeah, yeah. Um, and even as like, I remember, and I want to say it was like 2011 ish. Mm. Um, I had, there was this girl that I, I, I knew from school who was from Australia. Yeah. And so she came to, you know, came over and it was kind of funny cause like, you know, she's so white from Australia yeah. and we had to run to Sea town And so we're walking and then she was like, Hey, I have a question, you know, with her accent and everything. She's like, where are all the white people? <laughs> <laughs> laugh because I was like oh right like you know because one she doesn't know she's yeah, yeah, from yeah. Australia you know yeah. um but it was funny because it had that moment I was like oh right welcome to Harlem yeah uh so That's funny. <laughs> you know um but it was one of the reason I bring that up is because within a couple years suddenly there was just a lot of white people and you're asking the opposite question you know sometimes where you know, yeah where like people of color right and yeah. so you know again I'm not against people coming to different areas sure. but it's the reason that you come to this area Absolutely. that is that is the big difference because 
is like, oh yeah, I, you know, I came here because like, oh wow, it's like so fetched. Oh, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> And so it's like the hipsters, and they're like, like, I'm not against what you like, but like, if you're coming here because you're like, wow, I'm like so cool, like, it's so urban. Make, like, make your damn pickles in your bathtub. Yeah, your like, store. bro, you, you know, I'll go back to Williamsburg. Like, I just, like, I'm sorry. But it's, it's one of those things that, like, when I went, you know, went back, now I remember as a kid, um, I remember when Columbia was buying out like all these buildings, yeah, you know, and I was, yeah, I was yeah. young for this, but people would talk about it. They're like, Oh, you know, did you, you know, I was like, Oh, they bought this building. They had to move. I knew, I remember yeah. there was like a number of people that I, that I knew that had to leave. Yeah. So I already had like, I guess like early stages of like gentrification in a way. Sure. Um, and when I, you know, I moved out, like I said, I, I moved out in 2013. Um, and I remember coming back, to, you know, or going back down to, to, to visit and me and my cousin were walking across, um, 125th from the two train. Yeah. So we were heading to the West side and, or, you know, towards, uh, I guess towards the water. And that was on that walk where I was, I, I was shook in the, like, in the way I was shook because yeah. I was like, there's a lot of white people here. Yeah. And then yeah. here's the other thing. They were like jogging down 125th. Oh my god. I yo, white people jog wherever. I don't like, understand. Yo, I don't get it. You like, can't pay me enough money to jog. Yo, I I'll run like a block and then I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. I'm a New Yorker, so I can yeah. walk anyway. Yeah, like yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Like i I got it. But yeah. like I was, I was like they were jogging down 125th Street. I think the, I don't remember if the Whole Foods was there then, but there was like a number of different like Things that were like downtown stuff were yeah. up there, and I will say the most unsettling thing that I saw was that there was a white couple that jogged out of the projects. Oh, okay, I was like, <laughs> I was like yo, what is happening? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just one of those moments. Like, I said, this what? is. It felt like the I, I don't know. Can you even? I wasn't even sure if I was in Oz at that point. Like, I was like. It's like these are people's homes, and you're using it as your your track. Like, yeah, because also I'm like 125th. I barely like walking down 125th. Yeah. I'm not gonna jog. This is not the area to jog. Like, yo, you gotta go to the park or something. But yeah. like, you know, it was it was one of those things. Where I was like, oh, it's different. You yeah. know, it was like I was able to laugh. You know, it's still kind of funny. Sure, it's like it's like y'all just jogged out the projects. I mean, this is <laughs> this is. I, I wouldn't even jog out the project. It's like, you know, like, imagine, like, I'm like, I live right here. Like, but I'm like, I'm, hey, I'm trying just, to catch a bus. That's like, you know, like, I'm not going to say, hey, y'all, just, just passing through, you know, like, it's like, okay, you yeah, know, but. Lululemon or whatever they went. <laughs> not the Lululemon, yo. No, man. Well, it was, it's one of those things where it was very, like, because the other thing that in the, and I guess in that moment that was sort of telling us, like, the the I guess the type of whites I I, I don't mean to to classify no, too much, no. but That's it's true. but it was like this is y'all didn't grow up here yeah you yeah, know because yeah, yeah. it's not to say there's like, obviously there's white people everywhere there's people everywhere it's, it's, we're in New York so it's mixed yeah you know but you can tell between the white people who grew up here and yeah. know what it's like and then the ones who had a little more money and then moved here uh huh you know and it's like in the way they talk or they they handle them. so like I you know. You can always tell when there's yeah. somebody who's down. You're like, okay, no, I can, I, I understand, you understand. Yeah, yeah. And then there's ones that's like, you don't exactly understand, do you? <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm not saying you're bad for this, yeah. but you have a different experience, and that yeah. experience can make you ignorant. Absolutely. Sometimes you don't even know. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, this is great. It's like, no. Yeah. Like, it's like, that's that, like, I guess, like, it's like, I guess that obliviousness of like, oh, this nice little bubble. Like, yeah, this is great. Absolutely. And it's like, I'm going to pop this real quick for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, but it's, it, I think it's, it's definitely important to know where you're moving to in terms of its history, yeah, you know, yeah. and knowing what you're contributing to when you move to the area. Yeah. Um, you know, cause 125th is not the same, you know? I mean, no. it's, it's like, you could still see hints of the culture. You know, of course, like it's once when it feels still. Sure. You know, Apollo's there. There's still people of color, but you just like listen. I was very unsettled by that that Starbucks on the corner. Yeah. When I saw the Starbucks, that's when I was like, oh, they made it here. Yeah. We they, yeah. they're like, 
And then I, they tried to, they said some, they were trying to rename Spanish Harlem Spaha. Like, oh. No, they weren't. Oh, oh, like, oh that, yeah. That, that was the, that was the thing. That was, that was the thing. Why, I mean, speaking as, speaking as a white person, that's something that is completely baffling to me about a lot of other white people. Why do white people like shortening names to the I don't know. I guess it sounds. sounding crap. Like. It, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's got the, it's Baja. Ooh, Soho, you know, yeah, like, oh, so, the piano so, just so bro. That's so bro. Oh call, God, what is yeah, that supposed to be? I think that's I think that's what they're trying to call Mont Haven now. Oh my God, I think you're right. Yeah. So bro. Oh gosh, it's it's. See, when I hear those names, I know it's like you're not marketing to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, marketing yeah. to a very specific and usually more money. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's it's a higher tax bracket, I guess, or yeah. investment term. It's just it's. Mm. It's very cringy. Is the nicest way of putting it. Yeah. Because yeah, again, yeah. it's like I think it's like y'all want to take from the culture that we have, but then you don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like but, but here, let's make it like let's make it safe. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and when it comes to I guess you know bringing it back to the you know to the Bronx, I just I, I brought up the gentrification that I witnessed. Sure, you know, because sure, that was absolutely. something that I really got to watch and see. Yeah. And since I've been here, like, you know, when you hear the stories and like the so I guess the sobro now, you know, um, it is a, we still have a lot of work to do, Yeah. you know, cause it's, it's very, it's like, it's, it, de it definitely feels like more so like we're just going to take this cause we have money to take it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah. now that it has some appeal, Yeah. like let's, we're going to take this is even to bring this up, you remember when they did the Joker and then suddenly we had all these people yep. on 168th Street or 160, it's like, it's like 160. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Right there, um, yeah. I know the area because my family used to live over there. Actually, sure. I forgot. Um, I had, oh, a, I okay, had some okay. family that lived over there on Nelson. Okay, Nelson yeah. Avenue. So I'm familiar with those stairs. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was, yeah. I'd had to walk up there and to you, get over you, there. You I had walking up those stairs. Oh <laughs> my gosh, my knees feel it now. Yeah. Like, I even I had a program actually, um, Again, like a couple blocks from the stairs, so I would have to, you know, I would take that adventure. Yeah. Um, it is not a, you know, when I when I started seeing like people showing up, and it, it was very much like, oh my gosh, like, I'm sorry, that's my impression. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But like, know, it was like, yeah. oh my god, we're like so cool, we're on the steps in the Bronx, and it was like, at, online social media was hilarious. Yeah. There was people like, look at these people out here right now. <laughs> like these people, they grew up there, and they're like, what are you doing here? Yeah, for like, real. For <laughs> like. Real. It's like, this is not the place to show up and yeah. just like, what you doing? Like, yeah, yeah. you know, and there was just all these people there, which is, again, it was, it's, I was glad that there, I guess there was that exposure to the Bronx, of, yeah. you know, for the movie and all that. But it was also like some of that attention where it was like, y'all doing this for clout. Yeah, absolutely. And Plain and simple. Yeah. Y'all don't care. Y'all yeah. here for clout. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't be in the Bronx otherwise. No, not at all. You know, and so it's, I think in terms of, making the community better it's this is why i keep saying like it's got to start with us because they don't know what's best for us no, no anybody no. outside of don't know what's best for us and if they have they have money they're not like oh yeah let's improve the community they're like yeah let's build a skyscraper yeah, yeah, yeah. like we should totally do this because money in my pocket absolutely that's all like so it's uh you know uh, gentrification is a problem <laughs> yeah absolutely. you know again it's not a problem to want to improve the community yeah but yeah. If your way of improving the community is just pushing out the people that are already there, yeah, that's not improving the community. No, you're erasing, it's not erasing it. Erasing it, yeah. You know, so I, I genuinely hope. And now that I'm speaking so much about it, I'm like, hey, maybe I gotta be more vocal myself. Is you know that we can speak up for our community so that we can have better. Yeah. Um. And. And, and again, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's it's not to say keep everybody out. Sure. But, like, if you're coming here, understand where you're coming to. Absolutely. Like, and I even remember, again, when I was doing that project, there was, I I think I had read an article, and I, I want to say this was was by Harlem. Yeah, because I think it was by Central Park, where they used to have, like, the, the or they had, like, the drumming circles. Oh, sure, where yeah. Where people come and play music and stuff. And then there was people who were showing up. Or, or who moved into the area and suddenly they're complaining. Oh my God, the yep. noise, the this, yep. the that. Like, ah, oh, shut it down. You shouldn't be here. If that's how you feel. I know. Because this is this is a part of our culture. Absolutely. You know that the it's 
to you, what's noise is beautiful to us. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and I'm, I love listening to the music in the park, you know? Absolutely. And so it's like, you, if you, this is your energy when you come to a new place, you shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, please go. Like, this, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, this, this isn't it. Like, you have to, if you're going to come here, you should enjoy it for, for what it is, yeah. you know, for the beauty in it and not like, oh, this is bad. Like, if you want it quiet, maybe New York wasn't the place to be. Yeah. Like, in general, yeah. New York is maybe not the place to be. <laughs> but, like, you know, downtown is waiting for you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Um, but so I, you know, I, I don't want to get lost and, or, but essentially just, I think that I keep saying, I think, but there is definitely room for us to grow and there's definitely room for us to make improvements. Yeah. Um, I think it starts like being as vocal as the hell lady of the bra. Yeah. 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 You know? Um, and sometimes having to be that person, you know, she, she got the name. It was, I guess it was, you know, started as a name that wasn't exactly supposed to be uh, flattery. Yeah, sure, sure. But you know what? I take it and run with it. Absolutely. You know, and um, I think sometimes you have to be that voice that yeah. is like just being something digestible for people yeah. is not really always the way to go. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. You know, I've learned that sometimes you have to speak in somebody's language sure. for them to understand, right? Yeah. You know, you can still say what you're saying, but you know, you can make adjustments so that they can hear it. Yeah. Um, but I, there are moments where you have to just, you have to, I guess, be like a Yeah. You just got to take it head on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I, it's like, nope, this is for us. You have to fight for, you know, for what you want, Absolutely. you know, for, for what's, I guess also for what's right. Yeah. You know? Um, and again, this is, I, I've grown to love the Bronx so much more over the last, you know, since I've lived here, yeah. you know, over the last couple of years and, or a couple of years, this one is more than a couple of years, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but the, I guess, yeah, my, my passion for the Bronx and the community is just, I want to, I want to fight for it more, Absolutely. you know, um, and I look forward to I guess the future, it's not going to be easy, Yeah. but I definitely think that if the right people come together, um, we can make huge changes Absolutely. for this community. Absolutely. Um, to better it. And it's like, you know, for the people that are already here, Yeah. you know, and, and, and also for the generations to come, you know, because sure. it's not just about right now and you want to make it better long term. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I look for, I mean, like I'm, I'm saying I look forward cause I'm also, I'm always not, I'm very, I'm pretty optimistic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I really, I, I think that even with, you know, there's, we going we're going to struggle, but we can get something better. Yeah. Um, and I, again, just that, that coming together as a community, this is where I enjoy listening to the stories or when people talk to me about, you know, my family or Evelina or that, sure. or, you know, or, you know, the sisters, I got to shout them all out, you know, um, is, is just like, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just, it makes me feel good Yeah. to, to hear it. Um, but to hear of a time where there was a lot going on, Yeah. you know, they, they, I guess the, my, I, my time, like my, I know I may not get the years right, but like, you know, they were dealing with, you know, the depression and the, you know, sometimes stuff that has let me know, like even in a small way, she'll, she's taught, she'll, sometimes she, she actually just made them yesterday, don't bleed Okay, sure. You know, that's a, you know, she said that, she said to me, she's like, when we were, you know, young, my mom would make these because they're Philly. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like, it was, it's a moment where it was nice to hear the history, but it was also a moment of like, oh, yeah. we're making this because there wasn't a lot of money or yeah. food and this was Philly, yeah. you know? And so I, um, <clears throat> um, it's, you know, it's one, it, it definitely gives me a connection to like history, sure, you know, sure. cause I, I learned about certain things in school. I learned about the depression in school. Yeah. I learned about, you know, what was going on, but to, to have that family connection, yeah. um, be spoken about, um, I was trying to keep track of my thoughts. Sure, sure. So I, I want to say that what I was saying in terms of the, the connection, for, I guess for me, um, 
and hearing a little bit about that history. Yeah. You know, of the struggle that they had to go through. Yeah. Um, it's, well, it makes things a little real. Sure. You know, for somebody who wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and to it's one thing to read about it in a history book, but then it's a whole nother thing to connect with it. Absolutely. Um, and to have the, and you know, blessed enough to have, you know, my grandma in my life and, you know, also other elders who are able to, to share their experiences with me, right? Sure. Because I think it gives me um, an understanding that I wouldn't have had because I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I think it's an, I'm, something that I'm realizing, I'm not realizing, but definitely it's so important to talk to your elders. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, because there are things that you may not, you know, have any knowledge of or, or any connection to. Yeah. And when you talk to them, it's like, oh, so this is what was happening. Yeah. Because, like, for us, you know, it was like, the only thing I know is what I was born with, you know, yeah, the time sure. I was born in. Um, but so, in terms of, I guess, you know, in, in connecting, I guess, the past to the present. Yeah. <laughs> um, but knowing that, you know, this was something that they were going through. Yeah. And, and not just them, but many families, you sure. know, that were living here in the time. Um, and the, I guess, the, I don't know if the word is, well, I was going to say growth, but I don't, that's not, that's not, I don't think that's where I want what I want to say. Um, I don't know, I guess, trying to apply what I've learned from them to now. Yeah. You know, um, and what one, what can you learn from them or sure. learn from that? Because I think that. That has taught me, I don't know if the word is compassion, but definitely compassion, but more understanding. Yeah. And also because it has that family connection of like the struggle at the time that they would struggle then. And then, you know, what are the struggles now? Yeah. You know, that we face in, I guess, New York you sure. know, or, or the Bronx again. Um, what can be done when people come together? Yeah. You know, and... Even if it doesn't seem like from the outside that it's better, but that I, that that sense of community of of I guess banding together, yeah, you know, to protect the community, you know, in terms of its if it's food, you know, shelter, sure. what you know, like the list goes on, um, is it was is just as important then as it is now. Yeah, yeah, um, and. I, I guess there's just the hope is just to continue with that, you sure. know, and you know, especially because you know, like I said, I'm on the Evelina, co you know, committee. One of the things has been about, you know, really trying to, I guess, get Evelina's name out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's important. Absolutely. You know, I, I can say as a family member, it's like, yeah, it's important. But outside of being a family member, it's important. Yeah. Because of what she did. Yeah. You know, and and the people around her too, who were you know contributed to I guess this this fight. Sure. Um, it's you know it, it's it's just as important the history that we come from. Absolutely. Um, you know, as a person from you know as a, as a, a member of you know I guess a, a, of the Bronx as a woman or just in general, if you you know it's just it's. I feel like you don't have to be a Puerto Rican to feel the impact that Evelina had. Absolutely. Because, you know, I think about, you know, United Bronx parents. Sure. You know? Like, is that's I'm 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 not here in Puerto Rican, you know? So yeah, it's yeah, one of yeah, those yeah, things yeah. where it's like, yes, Puerto Rican, but also it's it says Bronx. Yeah. You know, so to for an impact of what she did is important to the community in general. Yeah. You know, and I think it's important to know, you know, because one, it's, I guess sometimes it's, it's good to know that you had somebody, you know, backing you yeah. that is of the community. Yeah. You know, and was 100% for the community. Sure. You know, again, I'm looking at that quote right now. I know. You know, and it's, I, you know, I just, it, I, more people should know about it. I think it'll also, you know, for people who don't know her, it can touch their life. Yeah. 
you know, again, I, being on this community, a community student committee, I'm, I've heard some stories and it's like some people didn't know her, but I think they were either a part of United Swan's parents or their parent knew her or sure. whatever, you know, and they were impacted. Yeah. You know, and it's beautiful and it should continue because one, it's a lasting impact. Absolutely. You know, yeah. it's like it, I think that for people who, there could be kids out there who don't even know, sure. you know, I don't know, right? But yeah. they don't they don't know that something that she did yeah. is working for them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Um and you know, I I also think that it having more information on her and the three sisters out there. Yeah. Well, I think it's inspiring for like future generations. Oh, definitely. You know, it's it's like I'm inspired, but I'm mostly, you know, I'm you know, it's funny. I'm nearing thirty. I mean I still got a couple years, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a couple years. But like I think about it because I'm like, I'm still young, but I'm old enough to have kids of my own, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, and I see my sister and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, you yeah. know, I, people easily thought she was mine, you know, yeah, everything yeah, she was yeah, mine. So sure. it's one of those things where I, I think about it for, you know, future generations, Yeah. you know, and, um, I think sometimes you got to look to the past to better the future. Oh, absolutely. And there are still some things from the past that can continue to benefit us now yeah um and i you know i'm i go back to saying i feel i'm you know i, I keep using the word blessed but i'm just i'm happy to be able to experience this from where i'm standing sure you know um i you know also i i enjoy the fact that i am i guess multi borrow i don't know if we're gonna call it that but you know i to have my my life be able to, you know, spend time in, in more than one borough. For, again, I, I'm always going to say from, you know, Bronx to Manhattan or uh, one of my songs, I say 125th to the Bronx I be repping. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So Uptown. That's, that's you true. know, so it, <laughs> it's, um, it's something that I am passionate about and, yeah. I, and I love, I love New York um, and I just, I don't, I feel like, you know, we can keep growing and keep getting better. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm losing track there, but I just, there's so much good in this community, you know, in the Bronx and then again in New York, because I'm New Yorker all day, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, I think that there's so much that can be done going forward. There's, such, there's already such a community here that it's like, rather than replace it, yeah, improve on it. Yeah, definitely. You know, so I, I'm definitely, looking for the hope is that you know I, there are definitely people out there who are fighting you know i think just like it you know was you know um and hopefully inspire more kids growing up now you know yeah. i'm hoping i'm looking at my little sister and i'm like all right <laughs> we got like i want you to have good influences i want you to one day maybe be an influence you yeah. know it's, it's not to, no, sure. no pressure do what you want to <laughs> do you know but the idea is that i want her to be able to yeah you know yeah. um and so I, I, you know, I think the Bronx is really resilient. I think for one is just, a, 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 or at least most, I, from my experience, most communities that ha come from nothing have no choice but to be resilient. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so it's like, we have a strong community. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and it's, you know, I, I think that the shared thing is that like, if you are underfunded or you know, doesn't get enough attention. It's like you, you learn to do it on your own. Yeah. 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 Um, and so I just, there is a beauty in the struggle, but yeah. the hope is that we don't have to struggle like this no yeah, more. Absolutely. Cause there's you a know. lot of people who, or at least some people who mm -hmm. don't have to struggle at all. And yeah. I'm a, <laughs> yo, like, and it's also cause sometimes it's like, do we really have to struggle? Yeah. And honestly, no. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that we should have to struggle. Yeah. At least not in, in such a way that, you know, that is essentially forced upon. Yeah. You know, um, it's, it comes down to like, I guess, you know, part of it is the reputation, you yeah. know, and what, what the reputation is outside of the area you live in. Sure. Because, you know, when I, 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 I think I mentioned it earlier, it's like when I go outside and it's like, say I'm from the Bronx, it's like, <laughs> The Bronx? I know. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. I, yo, somebody asked me if I knew the difference between like gunshots and fireworks. Oh and, like, my <laughs> What? I do. But like I <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but it was one of those like okay. I think you 
watch a lot of TV. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's like, and Absolutely. then the, like, the little, you know, if it's TV or the comments on social media, and it's yeah. like, oh, the Bronx is the Bronx that, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, you can say that for most places. It's like, oh, this place is, like, people say the same yeah. kind of sound is about Brooklyn. They'd be like, oh, Brooklyn this, Brooklyn yeah. that, you know? I mean, Brooklyn's a little more gentrified, but still, like, sure. you know, it's, it's one of those, like, the reputation that a place gets is, does not define Absolutely. the area. And I think it's it's kind of unfortunate because then because the outside world has this view about what the Bronx is, it makes it very hard for us as a community to be like, no, like yeah. to break that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, no, this is what you guys are. Yeah. No. no. And I it know. is, you know, and so it's, you know, it's an experience. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think. I think your family history, I mean, not only the, the work that the three sisters did and continue to do in the ways that that continues, but, but your family in general, I think it recording it more and spreading the knowledge of that history, I think is an incredible way to counter some of this about the Bronx, because, yeah. you know, like the traditional yeah. story people tell about the Bronx, it's all tragedy, like, it's all you know, things yeah. happening to the Bronx and not people in the Bronx fighting back when in fact when you look at things, people in the Bronx fought back harder than any other place I've ever seen the whole mm -hmm. time. But that story's never told, you know? Yeah. It was, um, it's, you know, I, I think that there's like, it's like, what is, there's that, what is that quote about like history where it's told by the victors yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah. I think that's, is, that can be sort of applied in oh, this situation. I think, yeah, yeah. You know, because there is such a history. Yeah. And it is more than just the struggle. Yes, yeah. there was struggle. For sure. A lot of tragedy. But there's so much more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And so it's, you know, I, this is where, yeah, history needs to be taught. I, mean, I think this is why it's so important that we put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, unfortunately, if we don't, Who's going to? Yeah, no one. You know, I honestly, I don't really see somebody from outside the Bronx being like, you know what I want to tell? The Bronx's That's, story. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? I know. <laughs> like, I know. So it's, it's, I think it, it, you're right. What you, what was it? You hit the nail on the head or whatever. Like that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's so important that we continue to tell this story. Yeah. And I think one of the only ways to make that change is to tell that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but not just the tragedy. Sure. You know, it's, is it a part of the history and is it important? Of course. Yeah. But it shouldn't be the only focus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause again, there's a lot of tragedy, but there's also a lot of beauty in that. Absolutely. You know, even if it was brought upon because of the struggle. Sure. You know, I think the part of the reason the community is so tight is because of the struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of had to be, but you know, it's, I don't think we should ignore, you know, is this is where maybe it's again that optimist in me, but like no, we need to we need to acknowledge the beauty even if it was born from pain. Absolutely, yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, it blows my mind like that such a joyous music as hip hop comes yeah. out of the very years when some of the fires yeah. are at their worst. You know, yeah. like people are partying because mm -hmm. you know it's a joy is a, is one of the most. Yeah, I mean, it was, that was 100%. Because, you know, during the time of the birth of hip-hop, it was a really tough time for the Bronx. Yeah. You know, um, but I, I think this is where it's like, when people can come together and, like, find the joy in life. Yeah, yeah. Even with all the struggle. Yeah. In fact, sometimes it's, I think about it like, hey, sorry. <laughs> Yo, I was like, <laughs> Um, but so I, um, I think with, uh, what I was saying, and, um, I think sometimes there is, for me at least, there's sometimes a beauty and the joy that was bought on from pain. Yeah. Because I think it's, it is harder to find beauty when you're struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely. know, if it's easy, like, oh, wow, this is just so lovely. This is like, it's like, all right, that's nice. Yeah. I'm glad that you're happy. <laughs> but like. When you're in a place where you need to find happiness or yeah. find that joy, you know, I think it's even, it, it, it's more, I think it's a little more telling, I, or I think it speaks to the soul of the Bronx. Definitely. You know, or the soul of the community, you know. Yeah. Um, to have when, 
all of, of that was going on, it was so hard to like, yeah, we're gonna get together and dance. Yeah. Somebody might <laughs> lay some bars. There yeah, might be a little yeah, dance yeah. battle, some b-boys, yeah. whatever. You yeah, know, like yeah, yeah. it's I. You know, I I think it's beautiful. Me you too. know, and something that I from a not to to even close to this caliber, but I, I learned that kind of like when I was going through stuff and finding the people that made it easier. Yeah. You know, to to those even if it's like a couple hours away, you know, like to to just decompress and dance. Yeah. You know, it's so important. Absolutely. You know, I remember I would do that after work. <laughs> Me and my friends would work till like one AM. Yeah. And I'm working with people, man. I love working with people, but it is also an adventure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> customer service, Lord. Uh, you know, um imagine. so yeah. you get off work and if it's late you're like, I just want to party. Or you just, I need a drink. I need to do something. Like, you know, so after we're like, oh, I'm going to go do this and like have a great time. But I think about it in the sense of like, you know, I, I wasn't, I was, I was not living in these times, but I think about it where it's like, yeah, it's like after work, yo, you know what we're going to do for a couple of hours? The block's on fire, but you know, like, <laughs> let's get together and like, I just, just, I guess, you know, I keep like, I, I lately I feel like vibe has been a fun word. So I yeah, can say sure. vibe, but like. It's like let's get together, vibe, enjoy our time together, yeah. and for the couple hours that what you know that we're turning up, you yeah, know, definitely, definitely, is is important. And if anything, like you know, it just again, this is where maybe I'm like that person who's looking at the like, oh, look at all the brightness. But yeah, because those moments are just as important as some of the negative moments. In fact, sometimes maybe more. Yeah, yeah. because sometimes these are the moments you hold on to. To get sure. you through whatever it is you're going through. Yeah. So I, you know, I just I look at the Bronx as a resilient place. It, you know, it, it's got its scars, whatever it is, but it I think there is beauty in the, in the, in the scars. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I think that's part of the reason I'm so passionate. <laughs> yeah. You know, and um, you know, briefly I had mentioned Decade of Fire before, but that was one of the documentaries, or you know, that that allowed me to understand a little bit about what was happening, why the Bronx got, you know, the, the view that it does have. Yeah, yeah. And it made me more like, the Bronx is awesome. Like, I went from like, I love the Bronx to like, I love the Bronx. <laughs> like, it was like, I felt it. I was like, yes. Like, <laughs> I feel that entirely, like, yeah. And so when people would say something about it, I was like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. But you know, like, no. Like, um, cause it's. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Every time someone talks shit about the Bronx, which is on a regular basis, I, I go off because... Bruh. And <laughs> Bruh. I, yo, there was, you know, this is, this is more in like good fun, but I have friends from Brooklyn, so yeah, sometimes yeah, they're yeah. like, the Bronx, da 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 da. And I'm like, foot in the Bronx. yeah, oh my God, I'll never step foot in the Bronx. I, yo, I finally, when I got one of my friends to step foot in the Bronx and she was like, oh wow, it's not that bad. I was like, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, I don't know what you thought this was. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Cause in her head, she's like, yo, gunshots, but I'm like, no, <laughs> but, but no, nah, I, in like, you know, sometimes I have people that are like, oh, the Bronx, da da da, talking all this ish. I remember now this is something I told my friend too. I was like, you need to stop talking ish about the Bronx yeah. because you know what? I downloaded the Citizen app and Brooklyn had it going off. Okay, so I don't hear nothing about the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But anyway, like, you know, um, again, a lot of the jokes are made in good fun. They're not. Sure, you, sure. I mean, some people really say things where I it's know. like, and that's where I'm like, that's where I'm more passionate. I'm like, no, don't tell you. Have you been to the Bronx? No. Shh. Yeah, yeah. I don't hear nothing. Yeah. Because, like, first of all, y'all. We're in the same city. I know. In my mind, when I when it's it's like that's when like in middle school when it was like, oh, the other school sucks. Like, oh, <laughs> shut up. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we we're in the same city. We're yeah. all New York, you yeah. know. And if anything, we should be able to band together. Yeah. You know. Um. And it's it's just for any community that has struggles because it's not only the Bronx. Oh, for sure. You know. So it's like. We should be able to band together, not look at each other like, yeah, no, like you, my bro, like we, what's up, fam, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like let's let's come together and do something for our communities as a whole, as for our city as a whole, absolutely, you know, rather than that, that you know, them versus us or, sure. or vice versa, you know. So it's, you know, I I'm very passionate, 
And so I little by little, you know, sometimes, sometimes, it, sometimes this is where, you know, I, I guess this is that like little Evelina, you have to be, you sometimes have to say things that people don't like. Yeah, yeah. But I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm yeah, also, yeah. I'm a Taurus. I'm pretty stubborn. So, like, I'm like, what's up? Like, you know, like, so I I feel like this is that moment where, in the little ways, what I can do is sometimes is educating people. Yeah, for sure. I know sometimes people are like, it's not my job to educate. Ah, yes and no. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, and there, sometimes you don't always have to educate the ignorant, yeah. right? Especially if they don't even want to listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to sit here and essentially yell at a wall. You know, because, sure. you know, but sometimes this is, this is why, you know, I think this is also where my experience of being able to step outside of the city is like having the patience of like, sometimes people just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you can say Google it, but like, what exactly do you Google? Yeah. You know, there's going to be some nonsense that shows up. Exactly. So sometimes there's, I do think that sometimes it's important and this is for any fight in general. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to just be for the Bronx. I mean, I, you can use this same argument um, when it comes to, I guess, issues of like LGBTQ issues. Sure. Um, QIA. I'm, I'm trying to remember all the letters. I'm going to say plus. I'm <laughs> yeah, going to say yeah, plus, plus, you know. There you go. Um, <laughs> but it's like there are some times where it, we have to even if it's uncomfortable, be the ones to say something. Yeah. You know, and, you know, again, I'm speaking for the, for the Bronx. I just, I'm, you know, the, it is anybody who is struggling. This is something that we sometimes have to do. Sure. You know, again, some people are lost causes. You know, if you try, you try. And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But, you know, I'm also, I'm hard-headed. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay if you don't agree. Like, it's yeah. like, because if it's, if it's something I'm passionate about and I know in my heart that it's not only is it like right, but it's coming from a good place. Sure. I'll fight for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so I think that being able to educate people about the Bronx is important. I think I think in general, when it comes to New York City, like yeah. you know, I remember like, you know, I've been to school for a minute, but like we didn't really do a lot of local history in no, terms no. of like the boroughs and things like that. It was more, you know, like World War Two or the, you know, the World Wars, yeah. Civil War, all these different like, you know, it's like yes, it's important to know these, but there was a little, there was a lacking about like the like the local more recent history. Yeah, for sure. Um, which is again just as important as the stuff that happened a hundred years ago. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, cause like one. How do you grow if you're not addressing it? Yeah. You know, it's like, especially recent history, you know, and I think that it would do so much, it would be so much better if there was a little bit more knowledge shared about more, you know, the more recent times about the struggles that the Bronx had to go through, that New York had to go through, you know, um, to get to where it is now that it still has to go through, you know? Yeah. Um, So, you know, it's, that's what I speak up. So that's how, you know, I speak up. I, I you know, so it's funny. So my friends are like, but you grew up in Manhattan. I'm like, I did. But I also yeah. grew up in the Bronx. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, this is why I, like, I live between both. I'm repping just as hard. But also, yeah. right now, I don't really have to rep Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're fine. Yeah. <laughs> For the most part, Manhattan is doing fine. I mean, there are different parts of Manhattan, obviously, that sure. can get less attention, which, again, we can... It's uptown, so we can say parts of, of course, Harlem, which is pretty gentrified, but even so, you yeah. know, or, or, you know, the Heights, things like that, you know, um, it's, Manhattan got a lot of the attention. Yeah, definitely. So it's not really lacking, in, aside from certain areas, it's not really lacking in terms of the money. Sure. Um, I think, if anything, the money needs to be better spent. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's... You know, if people honestly, if they really, if when I think about it, like I don't know a lot about all this, I really don't. But if the money was put into better places and it wasn't just to focus on one, New York as a whole would just, yeah, yeah, yeah things yeah. would get better. It would, it would start to go up. I just, Absolutely. so I, you know, I'm, 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 I'll stop because I keep going. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it, you know. Yeah, yes. I mean, because you think about how much money any of these huge developments are like, you know, the Hudson Yards, all of that development. Like, yeah. If that money were spent across the city instead of this one place that... Yeah. Who I, who, live, who lives there? I have no idea. I, 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 I think I've only, like, walked by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> you know. But, 
but yeah, I mean, you think of like that, and there's tremendous money spent on that, and mm -hmm. you know, compared to pennies spent elsewhere, like. Oh, it's insane. I mean, even like when you think about like potholes. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, that's very telling <laughs> about an area. Yeah. Is I like, know. I mean, I, I I've been to places where there's like just famous potholes. Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah, I mean, yeah. not you know, famous in terms of the people. Like, yeah, they've been here for years. Yeah. You know, and it's like what? The time we got on the bus and <laughs> you, you yeah. mean air. <laughs> oh, I, I there's I have definitely you know been familiar with the potholes in my area. Like I'm like I know I'm about I, I you know I I would ride my bike a lot and yeah. so. You know, when you get used to certain areas, you know where in the ground yeah. something is messed up. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. all right, like I gotta let me go around this because I here comes that next one. Yeah. And so it's like I shouldn't be familiar with a pothole. Yeah. yeah. You know, we should we shouldn't have to. Like, yeah, this has been here for years. Like when you go downtown and suddenly it's sixth in a day. Yeah, I know. You know, so it's you really y'all could really just put some money into fixing a pothole, fixing the street. Yeah. You know and. But no, it's got to go downtown. It's got, or, you know, whatever. You know, I, I keep saying downtown because that's basically, that's our, you know, the most known and I guess sure. bougiest yeah. area yeah, yeah. in New York is is definitely, in terms of the cities, you know, it's definitely Manhattan. Yeah. So it's like, and, and I guess parts of Brooklyn as well. Sure. Um, but it's, again, is that if the money was just spent better to, to raise everybody and not just certain parts. Yeah. Oh man, I feel like the city as a whole would just be so much better. Oh, absolutely. So you know, I even when you think about example, like certain areas are like with trash pickup and stuff. You know, oh, it's yeah. something. It's something small, but it's like so certain areas they gonna clean that up right away. I know. Other areas it's there for days. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's if the money's better spent, we would be so much better as a well, whole. But. Yeah. I think this is where I guess speaking up for your community, I, you know, going back to that is just important and trying to, I, I, you know, when people say it's like, you have to do your part or you have to get involved. Yeah. I guess this is very much where that comes in, of like, okay, I want better, so like, I guess finding out ways to get into like, I guess local, um, I. Uh, like I, I don't know if the word is local politics or, or, or I don't, I don't know. I, I feel sure. like is that the word? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess, but you know, like politics organizing. Organize, yeah. Like I guess, it, yeah. So, I, okay, that that's better to say. Yeah, I like the organizing more. Um, but getting into more like local organizing and helping of the community. Yeah. And being the voice. Yeah. To you know, or to, to to allow for these things to happen is so important because yeah. I think sometimes you know I. Just to briefly touch on, like, it's like, everybody's like, go vote. Like, it's like, I'm voting for the president. Great. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, like, for the most part, I mean, when one, you should always vote. Yeah. Especially if you know, you know, as a person of color, we had to fight for that. Absolutely. I yeah. wasn't there for that, but I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna respect my, my ancestors and the people who fought for my rights, especially also as a woman, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, it's like, um, I, the, it's very important to vote. But it's not just about only voting in the big election. Sure. You know, it's I think showing up to your the smaller ones. You know, for it's like when I, I I've been in the last couple of years especially. I mean, as soon as I could vote, I was out there voting. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, but I've even had this this moment of like, okay, you know, pay more attention to the smaller ones. It's not just about you know who's the next president. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like. Who's gonna be in charge of whatever aspect it is for your borough or sure. your city, you know, or state, whatever, you know, like is is so important because that's where they're gonna make the decisions that will impact you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's it's not gonna it was not gonna be hitting up the president. So I need you to fix this <laughs> section. There's a pothole. It's been here for years on this block. He's he's not worried about that, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, not, so, not unless he's gonna be driving down that. Like, street exactly. Or so it's like I'm not I'm not gonna hit up Biden. Like yo, Biden. Like <laughs> so not like so I I think it's definitely you know being able to 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 to, to again just make those local changes is really important. Okay. Um. So. So yeah, do you want to continue um, with what you were talking about with local organizing, or do you want to uh, wrap that up? What do you think? Um, I think I can wrap it up because if anything, I'm like my dad. I can talk forever. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta just shh. 
<laughs> so I, th I think that I've essentially said my point. Of course, sure. like if there's any questions or if you ever want to talk again, I'm down to elaborate more. But okay, I think for yeah. now, I think I've, so that I'm not just running in circles. Oh, <laughs> you oh, know, no, it, it, you you've talked about such a wide range of things. This has been wonderful so far. Wow. Um, and I guess the only other question I have for you for now um, uh, would be. I think you've answered this in a lot of different ways already, but maybe just sum it up. Um, what does the Bronx represent to you? Ooh, I like that question. Um, <laughs> hope, I think yeah. in a lot of ways. is uh, you know, I, Maybe a basic answer, but I, I definitely feel hope. I think strength for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I... You know, I think my, my dad says, I mean, it's not just him that says this, but Bronx Strong okay, is a, yeah, is a yeah, phrase yeah, sure, that I hear sure. a lot. Um, and so I definitely think that it represents a lot of strength. Yeah. Um, for me, you know, it's, it's interesting because suddenly I'm like, well, what does it, you know, for me, what does it mean? For me, it's home. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I you know, again, I, I love New York City. Um, so I, I'll probably be at home anywhere. Yeah. But... Sure. The Bronx especially has a very special place in my heart. Yeah. Um, and I, th I think part of it is because it is a community that has is sort of is a, you know the underdog yeah, you know, yeah. in a lot of ways. Um, and I don't know. I just I see the beauty in. I don't want to say the struggle because like nobody likes to struggle. Sure. But sure. But like you know, in what we have done with the struggle. Yeah. I guess is is what I'm saying, and so, you know, it it means home to me. It means strength. It means when I leave, when I like when I go outside the city, I know where I'm from, yeah. and I'm proud of it. You know, sure. I mean, I, again, I'm proud of to be a New Yorker. I'm proud to be, uh, you know, to to be from the Bronx. You know, again, I I have that that funniness of like kind of growing up in Manhattan. But when you look at it, my entire family on both sides, this is where. Yeah they live this yeah. is where you know they were either born and raised or like I spent most of my time here so I'm like yeah this is <laughs> this is my home this is yeah. where I'm from um and I when I go other places I mean look, this could be that New York attitude but you can't <laughs> tell me nothing like <laughs> like it's just you know in, in in but in a way where I'm proud and that's where it's like you can't tell me anything because like look at what we've Look at what we've had to go through. Look yeah. at what this community has had to go through. Yeah. And like, you know, to be what to be where we are now, and it's not perfect, but you know, and I and I and I, but it's, I'm just I'm proud. You know, yeah. that's why it's like when people tell they're like, oh, the Bronx is. I'm like, shh. Cause one, say what you want, but one, it wasn't. This isn't like it was a choice. Yeah. This uh, is what we were course. given. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so with what we were given, I guess this is to kind of touch on that, like turning into diamonds, like, you yeah. know, it's like you, the, I also think about that. I think it's like a, I read that Tupac book where it was like a rose that grew from concrete. Oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, and sure. so that's, that's a, a, that particular, that, that whole one, the imagery is in my mind. I just, I've always sounded beautiful. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think it represents New, you know, New York in a lot of ways, yeah. you know, or is a good representation in terms of like, you know, how we grow from well, this whole city concrete. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, so it's like you know, we really did grow from it, you know. Um, but to be able to find beauty in all of, and basically, you know, to to be in a place where you, you're not expected to, to to bloom a beautiful rose. Sure, like sure. Um, so I. I just I think that it does represent a lot of strength. Again, my family has made it so that I am passionate about it because of how hard they fought for it, and Elena fought for it, you know. And so I'm. It just I think there's it has that family tie as well yeah, for yeah. me. Um, so I think there's definitely that like family like passion of like yeah the Bronx, but I also I made my home here, you yeah. know, and I feel. This is, you know, I, I guess it was also because, like, I was, you know, when I moved here, or officially moved here, you know, I was 18. Yeah. And so, it just, it changed 
a lot for me. You know, I was becoming an adult. You know, sure. I, was, I was like, at that point, you're still a baby. 18 is a baby. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I didn't, you know, I, I was like, I'm getting older. I ain't know nothing. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> like yeah. I know. But, it's crazy to think about. Right? Like, he's like, it's, you don't realize how young you are until you're not young. Yeah. Like, yo, like, and it's like, you go, oh my gosh, like, it's like, oh, you young, boo, you and like, I'm, I enjoy, like, I talk to people, like, all ages, like, yeah. I, I, I'm, I love making friends, you know, I also said that, like, I like working with people or, like, customer service, like, I really do, and so I enjoy talking to, like, some of the youth, yeah, <laughs> can't believe I can say the youth, like, <laughs> I know. you know? I know, um, but I do, and, um, it's, I think that it's it's one of those things where like I don't know I just I I enjoy hearing their stories yeah if I can help in any way whatever little insight I'm not I'm again I'm 26 so it's not like I I don't have decades and decades of knowledge but I've got enough sure you know so it's I enjoy being able to talk to them and if I can offer some kind of insight great you know um but, you know, I was young, and it's going back to that's a young age where you're really, that's when you're stepping out and learning the world outside of school. And so for me, I was like, I guess I was, I guess I felt, I guess the best way to say is a little bit unanchored. Yeah. And yeah. I was able to anchor myself, and this was the home that I was able to create. Yeah. You know, and, you know, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, what a better place in the Bronx. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I know people could be like, what, the Bronx? But again, I... I'm I'm okay with it. I feel like if if I'm gonna be a rose that grew from concrete, yeah. All right, <laughs> like she cute, like you know. <laughs> but no, I it just you know I again I'm I, I'm still thinking about the rose you know that that, that imagery of the rose yeah. and I just I guess it's sort of I guess that's some what of a way or metaphor or whatever to to sum it up is just like I have a lot of love for the rose sure you know sure. um everything that it had to go through to to get to where it is yeah and you know continue to do so and i'm like yeah we strong and you know it's or, or excuse me we are strong my my father would be like <laughs> it's like what did you say <laughs> so well, we are strong <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring to it it really does <laughs> But yeah, um, that's I guess that's that's really that's what it means to me. I, I think you know there's beauty in the struggle, and you know there's a beauty in the community out here. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I I just I have a passion for it. You know, it's funny because even my friends like like I have some friends you know from the Bronx too. It's like yeah, the Bronx, and we just and I love that. That's also the energy yeah. that like that it that is for the most part that is out there. Yeah. I think you should be proud of wherever you come from. Yeah, definitely. You know. Um but I definitely am proud of the Bronx <laughs> again, especially because when after learning so much about what it's had to go through, yeah. I'm even more so like that's where I'm from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also like I said, I go outside to different cities and suddenly I'm oh, y'all think <laughs> I'm the most gangster in here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Like, <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, that's, I guess that's, that's, that's it. I love the Bronx. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Anything that we haven't spoken about that you'd like to, to add? Uh, oh, actually one thing, since you do have, uh, a little sister, um, is there anything you'd like to share with your little sister things that you've learned Aww. over the years? Let me see. Oh, that's my, that's really my heart. You yeah. Know, my little, that, she taught me a lot. You know, she doesn't even know that because she's four, you yeah. know. Um, I definitely think be proud of where you come from, no matter where it is. Yeah. Um, I guess also, you know, whatever struggle it is that you had to go through is, it's a part of your story. Yeah. Um, for my little sis, I mean, one of the things I, you know, looking at her, you know, I want, and I think about growing up myself, I know that I want better for her. Yeah. You know, and, and it's not to say that everything was bad or anything. I sure. just, I, I, having the knowledge that I do now, 
you know, and I, I feel like a new person versus the person that I was, you know, I guess, eight years ago. You know, yeah. I really went through, a, I guess, a huge evolution sure. from the person that I was then to the person I am now. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's interesting to, to list, like, I know that was me, but it doesn't feel like sure. it. You know, um, I want her to be able to connect with that person sooner than I did. Yeah. Um, I want her to have whatever passions it is she, you know, she is into. You know, again, right now it looks like she loves music. So yeah. I'd love to see that because I love music. Yeah. But I want to be able to nurture that, nurture that for her. Sure. More than it was for me. Not that, you know, my parents have always been supportive. Yeah. Um, but I think that there are some ways, especially as an adult, having obviously been a kid, you yeah, know, yeah. can see. And I, I just, I want, I just want better for her. I want her to be able to, whatever it is, her enjoy it. Yeah. You know, to really enjoy your life yeah. as it is. You know, see the beauty in it. She's a really happy kid also. So yeah. it really is just like, she's a light in all ways. Um, so I, you know, I want her, you know, she forced, I got some time, but I want her to be, you know, I, I want to do my best to make sure she is strong without having to go through as much as I did. Or, yeah. you know, I know I understand the sentiment that my father has, you know, and my, my parents have for me when it's like, we don't want you to struggle the way we did. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting having a, a sister who's so young. I don't have a kid, but it's a it's a it's a different dynamic when you've got a 22 year age gap. Yeah, you know? for sure. For sure. Um, and so I, I just, I'm there for her. I'm there to listen to her. You know, she, man, she don't know what she's talking about half the time now. <laughs> you know, but yeah, no, I, I know but that. but it, it's like I I want the sentiment is that I'm always here to listen. Yeah, and, and as she grows older. Um, and you know, again, be proud of where you came from and be proud of your family too, you know, yeah. because it's, we, me and her really are blessed to, to have been born into the family that we are born into. Yeah. You know, my, so obviously my, my sister is on my dad's side. So, you know, shout out to my mom's side. I love them too. Yeah. Um, but focusing on my, you know, obviously on, on my, my, on the, on my mother's, I mean, my, uh, my father's side, um, is just, you know, be proud. Yeah. You know, I, and I am, I think we come from good stock. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, I, you know, I, and I guess like seeing that strength in yourself is also important. Yeah. You know, and I want her to be able to like, yeah, I'm a little strong girl. Like, you know, I, I I'm sure she, I'm sure she feels that way, yeah. you know, or so, um, but that's, I, I think for me, I just, I. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it cute because I'm like I will cry about my little sister. That's how much I love her, you know. Yeah. No. Um, I just you know again I'm gonna like most people say or parents or people who have children in their life. It's like I just want what's best for them. Yeah. And so I really just want what's best for her. Um, and you know, I'm hoping her journey is easier than mine's and the, my family before us, obviously. Yeah. Um. But it's okay if it's not, because yeah. we're strong, yeah. and we can like again we come from strong people. We come yeah. from, from from strong, you know, whether it's men or women. I'm, you know, again, I'm blessed to have a strong family, um, and she blessed to have her dad too. You yeah. know, I just I love my dad a lot, and so I feel like I just you know I want her to enjoy that, yeah. and you know I'm doing my best as a, as an older sister to make sure that she sees that and can feel that support. Yeah, yeah. You know, again, she's four right now, so I've got some time before we're, before I have to actually, like, you know, really implement some of these things. Sure. But, you know, it's... These are the hopes that I have for her and her future. And yeah. also to just, like, in general, when I fight for what you, like, was right or what, you know, what you want in your heart. Yeah. You know, and don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I think confidence is a huge thing that I would like to make sure that, or at least hope that I can help her with that. Yeah. Because that will really change a lot for you. It's like, a, I feel like it's one of those things that 
maybe it's like something like, oh, you know, people think confidence, like, oh, just, you know, be confident in yourself. But it's, it's more than just that. Sure. Because that confidence will allow you to, to do so much. Yeah. You know, I didn't talk. I mean, I, I, you see, I talk a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, I yeah. talked a lot. But I, there was a part of me that just was very shut down. Yeah. Outside of my friend group. I, I was social anxiety, didn't know yeah, to speak yeah, up, yeah. you know, and so I want to make sure that, or do my best to make sure that she doesn't have to have those same struggles, and it's like, yo, speak up, yeah. you got a voice, use it, Yeah. you know, and I, you know, I think it'll just make life a little easier when you can feel at, I guess, a little bit at peace, so I, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll stop there in terms of my little sis, you know, I just, I, hopefully too, you know, if, if, if the Bronx is where she ends up, you know, right now she a Brooklyn baby. Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Um, but she comes to the Bronx, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, and she, um, just like me, I'm sure she's going to have that love for the Bronx because yeah. of this family, you know, um, but you know, wherever you are, be proud of it, you know, and you, yeah, you, I think you use it, like, don't ever be ashamed of where you come from. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think sometimes there's that, like, oh, I didn't have enough money, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. Like, okay, that doesn't mean that anybody is any less. Yeah. You know, in fact, this is that moment where, again, it's like, well, look how much I had to get through. Yeah. You know, whether it's, you know, it's just everything I had to get through so that I can get here. And, yeah, yeah it was hard, but I did it. Yeah. Yes, I would like it to be easier going forward, but I did it. And I think that's, that really just says a lot in itself. It does, yeah. You know, it's, you worked for what you had to get, you know, you, you earned it. Yeah. In yeah. a way where some things maybe you shouldn't have had to earn it. Yeah. But you did. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I guess that's where I'm like, be proud of it. And just like we're proud of the Bronx, like, be proud of you, yeah. you know. Whatever it is you do, little sis. I, oh man, that's my. She you know she calls me bis. <laughs> she when she was like so two, cute. she um. I'll, I'll be brief, but when she was like two years old, she she we realized that she had named me bis. Yeah. Because my dad would say, um, you know, oh look, it's big sis. Okay. You know, and I was I was always saying, hey little sis, or hey sis. So she was always familiar with the you know the little sis, big sis, and my dad was like, look, it's your big sis. Yeah. And so this little girl one day, she's like two, maybe not even two, I think she's like right before her birthday, she's like, da 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 you know, talking whatever language, <laughs> this, da 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 And like, I was looking at her, but I'm talking to my dad and Kim, and we're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, cute, da 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 this, da 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 you know, okay, this. <laughs> and that was that moment, I said, are you talking to me? And she goes, this, the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, <laughs> It's really cute, oh. and that's where I've, you know, one, I'm like, yes, that's my name. Go yeah. ahead. Like, yeah. you know, I'm like, yes, I'm this, I'm big sis, and so that's, you know, that's my heart, like I said. I just, she gives me motivation to do better. Yeah. Um, You know, when I say I want better for her, it's like, it's in a way, it's like I want better for myself so that I can show her. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, I guess this is that moment of being the example. Yeah. Of my soul. It's like, all right, I want something for you to look up to. And we here, like that's yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm here. That's that's really it. So, but that's my heart. Did that show you? That's the drawing I did of her over there. She did. Yeah. She did. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. So my my heart. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'll I'll stop. <laughs> oh no no no. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um. Ring ring. Hello. Um no um. I don't know. I feel like we've we've touched on a lot. Yeah, we have. Um, you know, I, I again, I just, I, I guess I can just end off on saying that again. I just, I have a lot of love for New York. I have a lot of love for the Bronx. Yeah. Um, I'm proud of the city that I come from. Yeah. You know, the, <laughs> um, I, there is, you know, again, it's. I think that New York is special. Yeah. Um. Definitely. I've been, again, lucky enough to be able to experience other places, but there's really nothing like New York. No. It's not. Um, and it's allowed for me as a person, I think, to, you know, really be able to, to grow in ways, you know, especially when it, when, you know, when we talk about, I guess, diversity, especially, you know, the last couple of years have been real intense. Yeah. You know, um, it really is, 
you know, when we use the term melting pot, it yeah. really is all these different cultures. And so I feel blessed that I've been able to be exposed to them um, because it also, I guess with that exposure, <laughs> there's less ignorance. Yeah. Definitely. Um, you know, rather than like, you know, I, I, it's not, to, again, it's not to say that it's not in this city. Oh yeah. You know, it is for sure. It is. Country club. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. I was working in an area where I was familiar with a lot of that. So, yeah. um, it's, you know, again, it's not to say that it's not here, but it is nice to be in a place where because there's such a combination yeah. of so many you know, it's not that it's less, and again, well, it's less likely. It's not that it's impossible. Yeah. Um, but I just, I appreciate it. Because yeah. it gave me appreciation of cultures that had I not been exposed to, I don't know, you know, what I would have thought. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I also, again, shout out to my family because I feel like they were very, um, I don't know, I guess they, they, they were so good about you know, introducing me to different cultures yeah. without the biases. Yeah. You know, yeah, where yeah. it was just like, it's, we're just different. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. You know, and so I think New York has allowed for that um, in, you know, in a, in a beautiful way. Um, so I, I'm very proud to be from New York. I feel like a little privileged in that sense. Yeah. Because it's like, I... I kind of have something that a lot of people may not have. Yeah. You know, especially if you go to places that are less diverse than New York. Sure. All they got is what they see on TV. Yeah. You know, and so I feel lucky enough to, again, not have some of these biases, but also to have the exposure to these different cultures. Yeah. Because they really are beautiful. Absolutely. You know, I think there's beauty in so many things if you just look. Yeah. You know, and so I, that is a part of the reason I'm like, I love New York. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I love New York. And um, also, yeah, when I go outside of the state, I am the most gangster thing in the room. I am the coolest <laughs> thing in that room. I don't care. I don't care what nobody says. Like, because even it's like, I, it's like, I don't even have to say, if I say New York, I don't have to say the Bronx specific. If I say New York, it's like, ooh. It's like, oh, you from the city? Yes, I am. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this, this automatic, like, respect. Like, yeah. And like, I'm not running around, like, respect. But. <laughs> I know, because sometimes you see it. You see, you say it, and it's like, oh, she from, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Beautiful New York with our rats and everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, love, yeah I, just, I love it. I don't love the cockroaches, but you know what? Yeah, I, I love New York, and if our mascot is a rat, then okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that for, I think for now, that's, that's what I can say is, like, you know, I... I might think of a better way of saying this. Maybe I'll write something. I don't know. Like, you know, I just, I go back to it as I'm, I feel blessed to yeah. be from New York. Yeah. There's a lot of places that I could have potentially ended up in, but I'm happy that I ended up here. Yeah. You know, and yeah, that's it. That's, that's the love. That's the love for New York and the passion. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. This has been such a pleasure. Uh, thank you. I've, I've enjoyed this. I know sometimes da 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 da. But no, it's, it's <laughs> wonderful. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you for also in the asking to, I guess, interview me too. I was I was nervous at first. I was like, I don't know what to say. But, <laughs> but it was funny when I was getting ready. I heard Dr. say, well, she can talk a lot. Or she talks a lot. So I was like, <laughs> I laughed because I was like, yeah. 